uh, but when we're on breaks, you can move over and, you know, we might talk about the other match too, so keep them all up. But here we go with the bracket there looking all nice too. And so as we get through matches, we'll have updates on the PR and the score. Uh, best of three. So if a player wins four points in two matches, then we'll be done after two. And otherwise, tie breaks go to overall average PR if it's three points each. So yeah, that's your format. And we're going to get started pretty quickly here in about 10 minutes. I think that's about all I have to tell you right now. Um, but yeah, yeah. More coming there, and you can see all these like overall averages and how we got here. Ryan won in Group A on points with a three and a half PR. Pretty good stuff from him. He was hoping for better. And in the second group, John O'Hagan got there. Petco was really cruising with points and PR and had a bad last match and rose up to four, which wasn't enough to get him in on the wild card. So John O'Hagan won the points on Group B, and then the next two best PRs were in Group B. Actually, I would have earned. Sorry, no, they weren't. Are they? I'm confused now. The 2.92 was Neil over there. And then where is Dana Nazarian in this setup? He is, oh, down the list with less points, but a 3.3. So yeah, the, the two next best PRs came from Dana. And I was betting against that from the start, that Group A might have all of them, that Kit could be it, that Ryan could be it, that Marty could be it. Um, but a lot can happen in seven matches. And a lot of players that maybe I wasn't expecting to be at the top of the battle were really doing well this weekend. Petco had a... Had a killer run until that last match. Dana, of course, actually making it in on the PR wild card. <laughs> well okay whatever i've been talking a while i'm gonna go uh check on tara real quick but i'll be right back
Yeah, you guys can hear me, so I left. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone, thanking us again. I was just chatting with Tara. I think, I don't know what'll happen on here. So we have Ryan and Neil on the mainstream. Maybe match two of three, we'll get to switch them, or if uh, we have time between or something, we'll see. But I'd love to get you guys some, some John O'Hagan and Dana Nazari in action too. We'll see. You gonna help me out, Ray? Uh, or you no, gotta play I'm, now. I'm, I'm probably available, but I'm supposed to play a match with Echo. Oh, okay, okay. You didn't make the semifinals somehow. I don't know. I guess had a bad match seven. Well, uh, those other guys played pretty good. Neil played 2.8. Yeah. Dana said he was playing like hell, and then I find out that. Yeah, 3.3. 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. So that shows you how good <laughs> he is. Yeah, yeah. You he got really a favorite is. to pick between Ryan and Neil here on stream one? Uh, okay, if yeah. I got to be out, yeah. I think that I would pick Neil because he's just so experienced and solid. Yeah. But uh, Ryan yeah. could maybe play better and be brilliant and all that kind of stuff. I think he, you never know. He's got a little bit of anxiety about proving himself. Neil has been yeah. proven. <laughs> okay. That anxiety can go both ways. Thanks, Ray. Good luck in your match. Yeah, that's a tough one. If I mean, my two cents, I think I. If the money's important, maybe I bet on Neil. But I think I, it's hard for me not to root for the young one. <laughs> you know? And it really, I mean, in three matches, it could be either so easily. But Neil's been playing his three stuff for so long. Ryan, I know, is capable of it, like online and things like that. But still just runs into some little rust things and makes some weird decisions live. So uh, probably just slightly less consistent than Neil, too, you know? Um, but I don't know. Like, both their A games must be really comparable to each other. So we'll see what they bring in this collection of three matches. Uh, do I know the final PRs of four finalists? We might actually see some graphics on that, Justin. But if you hop over to Texas Backgammon Championships on Facebook, uh, there's a screenshot of a spreadsheet somewhere on there. And so there's a link in the comments of that too. And that shows the entirety, like the raw results. So you can hop in there. Um, but Neil coming in with a 2.92, Dana with a 3.3, Ryan with a 3.52, and John O'Hagan with a 3.57. So we got four true grandmasters in the semifinals too, which is uh, exciting stuff for these US UBC semifinals. Exciting contrast of styles. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I mean, we're getting down into the, into the cream of the crop where there isn't a whole lot of style left. But I know Ryan likes to try to keep it simple and has his ideas, plays fast. Um, and I mean, it's, it's weird to say, but you can almost notice that he like practices against three ply with some of the things he does. Like, I mean, I noticed in one of his matches, he opened up, like won the opening roll at the two one at seven away, seven away and made the split because he thinks it's right because that's what galaxy says. And I mean, we, we bet on that on stream one time to his detriment. Um, but yeah, I mean like just little things like that where you can kind of feel it with cube actions and things like that. Uh, something might come in a little early. Um, and then Neil is like the exact opposite side of that. He's been deep rollouting any position that he has a question with and, and disagrees with forever. And I think he would struggle to not make the best play. I mean, I don't think he's trying to change it back to plus plus or whatever the analysis level is. Um, so I played matches with him before where he's taking something and, we looked at it afterward and he said, yeah, that cube, it says it's a blunder, but if you roll it out, it gets a lot closer. I think it's fine to play that, you know? Um, so yeah, he will definitely do what he thinks is right, even when the bot might have like a slightly different opinion. So Not yeah, I guess it's fair enough to say that we might see a contrast in styles here. Um, but when both players are st uh, trying to play very strong and generally making the top kinds of plays, it also could just be like the styles start to, you know, like come back to the norm that way. Where maybe uh, like reactions to inefficiencies or something like that or to suboptimal plays are different on each side. But when they're following the happy path there, their play should be very similar. Neil comes onto the stream and first thing he does is move the board. I'm gonna go tell Tara on him. <laughs> Where did they put the clock? Like off the board? Oh, he's going to find a different one or reset it or something? Okay, okay. Happy path, you like that? 
<laughs> Justin says Ryan plays like against yeah. T-Mobile. Yeah. Do you actually yeah. notice that? Everything I feel like I can actually really notice that in ways. Like some of his decisions. It's very three-ply. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know. Whenever, I mean, I guess I've always like tended towards plus plusing everything for no reason. And so typically when I play on something like Heroes and like Gnu analyzes it first. When I come onto desktop, I, I always shave like a half a PR off or something like that. It tends to come down. I don't know. But, I mean, there's a difference. There's not a huge difference, but there's a difference. Not enough light on the board, a little shadowy. Yeah, a little grainy. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about that. But I'll say it out loud in case Tara's listening. Let us know. You ready? Yeah. All right. Why move the board? Because uh, that's where Neil sat down. So that's where the board ought to be. Four three is two down. All right, I'm pretty excited about this, honestly. Fours, uh, Ryan instantly just makes the 20 and the nine, and I do know that to be the correct play. Um, technically, on all analysis levels, all this stuff. Uh, interesting for Neil. Yeah, the 6-3, I guess this leaves no shots and keeps the race relatively close, like dead even at the moment. And Ryan with another double fours just wants to get to freedom and try to race now, so I think 20 to 16 is pretty good here. Uh, why I stay blocked? Like yeah. this, you're going to need less, less Marty agrees. Certainly an option to understack and make the two as well, but yeah. Do not adjust your playback speed. Ryan's hands are actually moving that fast. I think maybe he's a little bit excited about this match. What do you think? Nothing wrong with your TV set. <laughs> What is the format of the final? We've got three matches playing, best of three. Uh, same format still where it's, okay, 16 and after a 4-1 is only 11 pips, so not enough to cube yet. 6-2 uh, is just going to load up the five point. Um, but so same format as the, as the opening rounds where one point for the PR win, one point for the match win. And yeah, if there's a tie, 3-3 three to three at the end, then the best overall PR advances. And then we'll play a finals tomorrow with the same format, best of three. Uh, hopefully you guys have Stream 2 opened up already. That's going to be an exciting match between Dana Nazarian and John O'Hagan as well. 6-5 makes it around the bend. Nice. Um, yeah, we won't have commentary on that one, but you can watch it, and we'll talk about it when there's breaks in the action on this side. We might switch back and forth. That's on Ace Point Backgammon's channel. Uh, I, think, I think you should double. This feels like probably, I mean, I don't even know how much we need to be ahead in the race to keep it's this, right? A, it's it's a, probably he, fine. He should be ahead. 45, yeah. 60. Got 116. Black is 116. Yeah, Ryan has full freedom and Neil doesn't. He's right into prime him. He could have trouble getting home, but I mean. He's up, he's up 10 pips. Making the four point or the bar like point is likely to lose It our would be an easy take, I believe. But. Yeah, I think there's enough work to do still. But I think uh, we have fairly obvious market losers in making a point. And I don't know. Yeah, he's just he's, he's thinking whether it's, too, it's good enough. In yeah. Terms of his, okay. Please, it is. So I agree with him. Oh, Neil, Neil drops. wants to let it go. Okay. Oh, I would I would have taken that one. It's a lot of material in the zone to be able to split, but he does have a pretty strong board. Maybe the liability of the open five point could be something too. But yeah, I expected. Well, the, well, well, with the the fact that um, he he only had his five his eight six and five mate, and he had builders, but he wasn't a yeah. If he was a favorite to make a key point, it wasn't by much. Neil wants to split instead of the pointing roll. That's, I think, fairly standard in match play. But I, I actually don't know at this 7 away, 6 away. Could be fine. Of course, they're always close. And it should be a game that Ryan knows a little bit less, too. So, good practical reason to do that as well. Breeze is going to point on head, and so we must make the 5 with it, I think. But, I mean, we yeah. could clean a bunch of things up. Yeah, he could he could clean up, but he would leave a. So he, he fans <laughs> more often with a three point on a three point board like that than on a. And what is this? He still has some decent structure and a checker trapped behind. If it is a double, it's a. <laughs> yeah. Might not be enough. Oh, Dennis Colton. Yeah. This ought to just make the eight, I think. I mean, we could come to safety too, but the eight is so nice in this structure, a tenth in the zone. I like it too much, and I'm happy to. There's not that many hitting fours it's a four from the roof either. Right? He's got, yeah. He's got, um, four, five, four, 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 one, four. Does this want the 23? Yeah, I he guess wants for the lack 23 of other because he doesn't have a good two otherwise, and he the eight point. 
Three one. I guess. We're against the strip paper. This feels a little bit. I mean, we could clean everything up in the outfield, but I'd really like to step up with the three. So that's, is it that's really a, it's an interesting uh, question because he could, he could now yeah. could slither up with a one to put pressure on. Uh, oh, interesting. So it doesn't Ryan's go home. Eight one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I, I have no I idea why that, that was. Would be. I don't think that was a good. Just cleaning up nine to eight seems fine to me. Nine, nine to eight was a, well. It saves. Yeah, it saves two shots. I don't see why we. I mean, we and want could, the, the other. The anyway. other play would have been to advance to the twenty-one and leave a get a four shot outside. So we get to make the nine, up. but he's we don't really want it. Yeah, and the three has to step into this. Then in the zone, if we just escape, we're doing great with our structure in front you of Ryan's 23. You have to get out sometime. Yeah. And you don't have enough building power with an extra checker. And if Ryan, or yeah, if Ryan rolls aces or three aces to extend the prime, like he's in big trouble anyway. Right, I, I think that, so now, now I think uh, Ryan will decide whether to slot his four point or not and he says i will so he's still thinking he could just put a builder on the eight point and hope for hope for good rolls by himself or bad by neil six five is bad by neil yep. and very stacky i guess it's not completely stacky clear yeah i'm not completely clear who has the more pressure in the timing battle here Two one probably wants to. Yeah, oh, that, that's the like yeah. two two got an asset, not to yeah. take. Five three. I don't think Ryan wants to run here against all this material, but he's, he's thinking about it. But he's interesting. He, I predict he does not do it. But he has this plan B of just attacking the bottom he bring, twenty four as he rolls builders, home. He bring builders down. Yeah, so I think he's happy to and not not get attacked and possibly get, duplicating a three to advance at outside. He's happy to just keep dropping his midpoint and rolling forward and priming until he's attacking, and then he can deal with escaping later. Neil doesn't have the time to hold the prime in front of him anyway, even if he rolls perfect like a 6-1. Yeah, and another thing is that uh, he has fallback equity of that 20 mechanic and win a few games. Um, yeah. Even if he'll escape. So, well, the cube's in the middle now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Neil's like under there. Not to be right, I, I feel like Neil's been under pressure to step up this whole time, but I don't know. I, I don't see why I should think that I know better than him. And this, I think just running with a five is a market loss, right? And he's yeah, got a so couple rolls, rolls to do it. If he rolls a five, it's... I guess there's play for Neil, but yeah, I'm off well, the yeah, so Six, two, three, right, back. I have to, I have to go for five. Yeah, there's nothing else here. A lot of the game rolling on an Hope ace. He rolls here. double fives. Probably go to the ace just for more flexibility outside. Uh, you got two pips. Pips moved efficiently without. This doesn't seem better for Ryan, so I'm not sure why he's pausing to think about the role now. I guess maybe there's cracking numbers for Neil, but I don't see him. Big sets or something. Double four. Yeah. Double, Stuff like that. Threes. I guess Neil has gotten a roll closer. You can make that case. Yeah, it would be it would be a take. Oh, thanks for joining us, Sean. Juicy when he covers the Timberwolves. Covers all of his little five minutes. Seems like, well, he's got 27 covers. 28 is probably five strikes. So he's got 27. Make the, well, I guess level six. Closes. He's going to send it, okay. So, so yeah, so it's, you could lose the market. Six four is going to cover twice. You could lose the market. What? Five the next roll. Yeah. Four two is it? And so Neil's the one that's improved on the timing here, and not Ryan. I don't. I don't know. He, he could. He could. Um, yeah, I guess he got a bad six four. No matter what he does. He got a bad six four. No matter. I think he's thinking. Probably counting numbers. Bad numbers. 
Okay. He would have. He has the same number of playable fives. Right? Stop breaking his feet. Run the Run the they know up 1 0 on the other side of the semifinals here. That is, that's, 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 that, that's, okay, that's, yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah, so that's true. That's true. Yeah, that, this is best, I, I believe. I'm pretty strong with it. So now he can diversify his numbers 7 to 4, or he can duplicate a 5 with, I believe, one less, less plot. But he can kill sixes as well. Yeah, he certainly, he certainly is good. Now does he, yeah, he kills the six. How much money for us? A six is a winner for Neil. And I guess he's going to be temporarily too good. I don't see any lot. Could leave an indirect shot. Is it too really? Is it really too good? It's like maybe, maybe it's, it's five five. Too good anymore. <laughs> so doesn't this feel too good again? Six four is a lot. Awesome. Level five. Level five. Level five. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and you're it's you might you're not gonna win as many gallons. Yeah. The two is win some gallons. I don't know. It's not yeah. reasonable cash though. Oh. <laughs> win some gallons. That's probably Six three is gonna split to open, okay. For the six four we like to hit. For the six three we just point. Five one gets to anchor. Or it could yeah, make no, the five point two. Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a wild and crazy aggressive follow. Yeah, I guess, I mean, uh, opponent sixes are so good, and we get to cancel the effect of his uh, five, so it just seems very strong. <laughs> but it is quite a common theme that, like, I mean, when we were given the option between the 20-point anchor and making the five, that we prefer to make the five offensively. It's a little different when our opponents made the five already. It just leaves a lot. Yeah, I think it makes the point for sure. He wants to consider making the anchor as well, though. Followed four times. Big. Lack of hitting numbers. Big. Neil with a pretty clear advantage, but not having done anything with the 24 point, I guess not, not quite down, enough. Stupid split board rule. Cost oh, me he's, point. Oh, he's five away. I'm over if I roll that. Oh, yeah, it's not Three two probably just plays twos up and tries to get moving. Now we have the prime to sit on. We might as well make sure we don't run out of time for it. Yeah, I don't know why we want to strip the midpoint. It's not really helping us build. So my instinct is to just come up. We do step into an attack, but I think 24, 21, 24, 22. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I mean I think, we. I think that um. 13-11 doesn't need to look over now. We'll find out anyway. The six is mostly forced. He's going to look at that first. And then I guess I think Ryan's stuck with an attacking game plan. So fives are going to hit back here. Yeah, no, I think Neil is going to double. Well, he's going to minimize shots. He yeah. He's got more threat now for sure. And still looks mostly playable for Ryan with good structure, two checkers behind and everything. Yeah, but he's got problems. Well, yeah, he's got problems. 4-2 does very little. You can make the 9. Okay. I'm always way more afraid to give up the midpoint when I have two back than this, than most people are, apparently. Well, given, given that your opponent... Uh, 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 I don't know. He could also cover the deuce. Cover the deuce in advance. Yeah, the 2 is for sure, right? 23-21. Yeah, coming out will leave a double shot. These are at least somewhat duplicated. I don't know. Well, you're, you're not leaving. Yeah, you're, oh, you're, you're the other, yeah, yeah right. So the, so the other play was a double, double shot. 
He wants to think about just hitting too. Think about it, yeah. I think a little bit of both makes a lot of sense yeah. though. Harder for Neil to attack him, a little scarier at the three-point board. A lot of numbers that are gonna. 5-4, for example, or just might. 5-4 can hit off the edge and keep the 5 prime. Okay, that's probably better than playing on it. Yeah. Seems like quite a few returns. Making the 4 are you talking about? No, I said yeah. make Right, right. It seems like uh, three five three six two six three one two one one one. A little bit too much. Deuces and fours gonna hit all right. If you dare. Yeah. He says, okay, I will. Followed by a fan, and now we've got a juicy. Reader. Ryan's gonna whip it back with the trail and the score. Okay, this feels a little bit early, but I guess it's only a four prime now. Hit, huh? Yeah, Neil does have five blots around. Okay, what I love Ryan's cube. Five, it just okay. took me longer to see. The gammon price is going to go down on a 4 cube as well, so it's more about wins at this point. But Neil's take point must be elevated with the match lead for sure, too. This is going to be a confusing one to figure out. I don't know what I do for a normal score. Yeah, I didn't write the book on normal score weird cubes. I wrote the one on how to take those and adjust them to match your scores. So I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. You think this is double pass at a normal score? A normal, a normal score on a two cube. Four cube on Oh, well, money then. Money, yes. Yeah, an initial. Some structure we might anchor. It's the thing is that when we anchor, we still have timing issues. We're like very overrun. But we've got one on the bar. You're probably gonna be a first. Yeah. A little scary, but you might. You might slide, you might, yeah. I think if it's a reasonable pass and normal scores. Yeah. Here. yeah, if it's a reasonable pass and normal scores, then I would use the score to adjust to one, too. Yeah, that's. Five away is not a happy score to be fair. Yeah. Four cubes. Yeah. Neil's splitting up the score again. Five away, four away. Zero, zero. Yeah, I'm not even sure there. I think <laughs> it probably plays out pretty ugly. I'm not sure. Six two hits. If you get an immediate hit, in. he's gonna enter deeper and he can clean up the blot. Okay, okay. Maybe thirteen to eight was an idea too, but I guess we don't need to leave sixes. Three points. Ryan, well, on his way to a simple game here. And he points on head and does Neil fan here somehow? Okay. Gammonish enough, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And he's escaped the checker, so it's just witty enough, maybe, too. But yeah, he's got a good, got a good yeah. position. I only have, yeah, now we have a little trouble. On. He still has got play. Ryan's still got to escape. He's got a bunch of checkers in the zone. So it's all right over now. Step up to the edge. Yeah. He could go. Yeah, he could well, go, we still have time. Part way, he could go part way up there. Yeah, before we run out of the opportunity to do it, I just want to make a bid for freedom. Our opponent's not really ready to pounce on us yet. Uh, or two points behind. You'd be much happier to be up higher now. Okay. Four four is going to roll the prime forward. Great shot. And probably in the Probably five. wants to go. Well, I'm going to, I go to the seven. I'm going to the seven. Uh, I don't want. I don't like that spare checker six of five. How does it seven make five. playable fights? Well, seven to two without breaking. The, the larger numbers are. Larger numbers that don't escape tend to be worse than smaller Oh yeah, we there's can make the, it six there, Here's the uh, here's the one counter argument as you gave it to me. Double one. Double one. <laughs> <laughs> so what else do we have? You gotta make the prime work somehow. I don't think he's thinking about hitting him off the edge. It's just a good way to win more or lose more gallons. 6 2 gets to escape now. Ryan will full freedom. Beautiful game for him. And maybe he wants Neil to speed up now so he can trap him off or something, but I, I think that's a little too far away. 
four builders came with five points a pot. Gannon should be relatively unlikely in this position, but possible for sure. Yeah, I was going to say, but yeah, but for sure. Yeah, I mean, the timing for wins and gammons matters a ton, too. This one looks under time for Neil, I guess, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, as good as you mm -hmm. like, Usually that wins last. I think I like that as best man. Double fives. All small stuff that Ryan doesn't prefer to think about. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, now, now. Uh, of course. He's got to think about. Yeah. I'm not sure what the alternative is. Right, right. I knew that was a, yeah, the, a danger. It's not a big danger, right? Yeah. One up is one up scary. Is scary. <laughs> Scolding Ryan for that yeah, one. Neil says, all right, I'll fill my gap. <laughs> give myself a six for place. Uh, we could go for distribution and clear the six, but we don't get any checkers off. Interesting. You could just take one off. So, I think, yeah. So, so um, I think taking one off avoids leaving any double shots. Yeah. Yeah, but it, but it gives more um, more more shots. Period. It, it, uh, yeah. it doesn't clear as. That's a nice roll, though. And so off. Bill Roberti finding. Yeah. Two, two on the five, two on the six. Pairs on the four, three. Sure. I think overall the bot prefers to leave like the odd number on the six and five and eight point games though. Well, yeah, if you if you can get to a certain kind of grip position, you you um, you often will, but you often you often will will make a mountain five running one. Uh, should he just run and save the gammon now, or can he, he can play for wins? Stay. Yeah, still doesn't lose many gammons going all the way. One four is not great. No, oh, can just stack up three to two. Still has a lot of pointing numbers. Or, or oh, this clears them, most efficiently. Give them fewer, fewer block numbers. Three, two, three, one. Three, two, three, two, and three, one. You can point on. Yeah. Well, Doors now. cracks a little bit. There's a, there's a slight bias for leave, leaving fewer block numbers now. Oh, you guys can't hear over the board mics by the board now. Okay, okay. Good to know. I'll mention it to Tara. I can always also just talk louder. <laughs> And Gammon unlikely. Ryan probably going to two-way, five-way, though. <laughs> when not... Wait, oh, no. on. They didn't come out of your car. Yeah. Okay. Five to two. Neil goes up. On the other away, match, five away. yeah, it looks like uh, John down six away, five away to Dana on the other side. No cube yet. Close match over there. Make sure you're watching the the B stream too. Neil supposedly has 26 percent match rate. He's going to slot five point. Yeah, slotting always a candidate, even at the savey scores, but definitely at the trailing. Yep. Anchoring for Ryan, or not anchoring, pointing. Uh, the, 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 the pointing reply is probably probably pretty good, um, but actually, split with a three is a, not too too bad. Thirteen eights. Yeah, yeah, 24, yeah. Twenty-one is a, actually a play. I think Neil will so split here too. No, we're talking about the five-three, but the three five, must three, split. Five-three are the um, Ryan's. Um, I guess it's close game plans, but it just feels like a nice opportunity to go for it there with the priming structure. Ryan, huge improvement in advancing his anchor. Uh, Aces gets to make the four point. Great shot for Neil as well. Double threes. Yeah, I think the five's better than the bar, but it's not super clear. Much better. I want every PR. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's also, you know, yeah. he's duplicating. Right. He's duplicating the good sixes this is my thing. by making the five points of the bar. But he's got good sixes sure. to make his bar. The two down was the certain. And, and the, he has fewer good fours. Like four one is good. Four four is. Good. Okay. Six five is not a good. Oh, it is a good six. Right. Okay, yeah. Probably roll. So he, he would have. He would have made the bar. He you know, missed me. He known he's gonna roll out. Four one was Neil's number. Yeah, you can duplicate a. Uh, you can duplicate a six three, I guess. Or you can duplicate a six one. I I would do it as well. I don't think nine yeah. point. Yeah, blocking the nine point is huge for Neil. Ryan does not get to improve to the bar point quite yet. He's got to leave some more fly shots in the outfield too. Ryan, he wants Ryan's to block. Going to, well, he's not necessarily doing it. He's looking at it. Hmm. And he's saying, "Well, I could duplicate some sixes to give myself twenty, twenty eight cover the darn thing if he misses." I'm sure. I'm I'm tempted not to make it because he's got some residual winning chances by by playing six. Even if you make it, somebody lose time. Yeah. Yeah, so the upside isn't yeah, so yeah, clear. Yeah, he so says, he's gonna go for he the slot. Going to run the PR now if Neil rolls a six, he's lost his market for sure. I think he's gonna bring a cube into play with the play. Doesn't make it wrong. I'm t at five way, two way, it feels like Neil has to cube on the volatility, but I don't know. I guess he's outboarded. And Ryan always has an anchor. Could be overestimating. Yeah. Six five. I guess maybe he's not like dramatically too good here. Yeah. Like this is still worth claiming. I guess he would claim this for money, so maybe it is uh, too good at the score. I don't know. So a little less, little Maybe less the contact is better behind. I don't really know. If he makes the bar point, that, it's bad either way. Yeah, I mean, this is easy this pass is for Ryan. Okay. There we go. Four way, two way, onto the most sensitive score. Okay. I thought it was close. It might, it might, if it's a cube, it's not by much. You can, you can, well, you can, you can, yeah, just rip the ball. Yeah. Now, now Neil, you can be sure Neil knows how to is going to split. Okay. Play. Not double this. You're pretty, sure I, you're pretty sure I wasn't supposed to double it. You're pretty sure it's a clear error to double your plate, Austin. I'm thinking about it. I, I think you're playing right anyway. I don't have enough. Uh oh. What are you about? I wish I had doubled, he says. That's a market loser. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I didn't hit the clock. I did not hit the clock. That anchors. Yeah, oh, that's his. Clock. He rolled clock. Oh. It's possible to hit two rolled a clock Blitz three, two. Oh, it's still on uh, Neil's uh, on oh, the Neil's double sixes. Thinking, oh, Neil's thinking about should I, should I make the ace point? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't think. I think the answer. Is it prevents him from anchoring and maybe staying in the game, and the three two shows him a good reason to do it. <laughs> so it's interesting. But he wins a lot more. Well, yeah. Is, yeah. Five four is an improvement. <laughs> oh, but now he now at least he's got the eighteen point. Out <laughs> and he's not he's not going to double because now because it's not damnish enough. Right. They're both laughing about and it over the board too. Take, you can take deeply. Um, he can get to a he can get to a position with the one chest. You're not probably there yet because the the leader can take very deeply if there are no gammons at all. Maybe down from the mid could be a little bit Something better there. Like that. It used to be twenty percent with the bullsy high. Just into the six seems a, fine. Somewhere in there. I think I'd rather That's have a pure point. Yeah, one, two, three, right, four. I'll, I'll, He'll keep flexibility for both. Or is he must be down in the race still, but maybe he needs to advance his contact. I'm not sure. One one thirty three, um one thirty two. It's one thirty it's well, it's uh, I think Neil's had a pip or something. Neil's had a pip, then I think he should come out to the sixteen and have the more flexible position. Yeah, well now never mind. He's, now he's glad, but but now Neil's gonna Still he should be an easy take for, be, for what Ryan. Is the, what is the count? I don't know. If you're right last time, then around 17. 112. One um, uh, 130? 112 one to 130. 
And I think Ryan can actually take a little bit deeper at this score, too. So yeah, in the holding game, deeper, um, this must be fine if it feels reasonable to money, too. This would be... Um, it's at least close. 18. I'm curious what they're talking about. Not okay. So now he's on the gammon try. He'd probably go 8-2. to two. On to DMP we go. Four double sixes, more double sixes for the gammon, gammon, gammon. Gonna get ready for contacts. The contacts not double so likely. Four, double four is probably more the efficient. best number. Four one is. This is right. You gotta, gotta get off that B point away. Way down and in or two in, anything's fine. He's still smoothing out though. So Ryan, not really thinking about the gammon. I'm not sure the contacts worth playing for it so aggressively. Like the race and saving the G seem a little more important, but it shouldn't make too big of a difference in most cases. Even if he does get a shot, he can still win without the seven point here. So I'm inclined to just be bringing checkers in. Who's gets a little awkward. Three off the six for sure, I think. Yeah, and then, then... Sure, two in. I like it. No block numbers for white this time. Oh, thanks, Tom. Now he's going to strip his... This is the right idea. Bill Roberti did some work on when you strip your two-away point here. I think coming in with the ace was fine there. I don't think Ryan needs to save a six. I guess maybe he'll be happy he did well, what, after what, the he improves his like board a little bit. More ways to roll doubles, and there's there's not that much double jeopardy, but there is some. If you have a lot of double jeopardy, meaning you, know, you take a risk now and then you roll something normal, then you have to take a risk later. And Neil just can play safe. He doesn't win enough gammons. I think it's right to take two off. Plays completely safety. Safely, Ryan is going to get as many crossovers as he can. He wants to uh, pull a lot of big doubles. Now, 15 to 13 is play to save the gamut. But 12 to 10 might be the play to win. Which both, of, both are negligible probabilities. It's a break even. Plotting the two is wrong. The, the, the one with two is wrong there. Fifteen to thirteen. Is wrong. Now he's got a he's got a he's got to fill the one for 29, 29 ways off. And if he goes closer, he's got twenty five ways. Oh, 25, 29, Yeah. Oh, 25. Trying to win. Twenty nine, baby. Yeah, the only misses are three, two, three, one, two, one, and one. Just a little tip. Give me a tip afterwards, too, please. I'm sure you, I'm sure you can. And it's this is stuff I don't see. No gammon, no winning probability. He's going to get the credit for bearing off, I guess. But he says, nah, I don't care. Resigns the game. Okay, two way, two way. Taking a short break here, it looks like. And we'll play a TMP game. Hmm. <laughs> Over on the other stream, still on that six away, five away game. Four cube incoming. Looks like Dana sent that over John's way. And yeah, this is one of those cool ones where I had something like this just come up in my doubles match, actually. Contact nine away, comes in and hits. John's going to have a shot to turn the game around, and that'll be about it. And he hits it. Okay. So that's going to take him to two away, five away. I think he technically gets to, uh, oh yeah, he's going to have to claim after this too. Or he can stay out to make sure one, two, no, either way, he's just going to recube. Can't play on for the unlikely gammon. Interesting one there. That contact take when you're eight or nine away, common theme. 
Uh, my doubles partner, I, I had something like that in doubles where we also had the 19 point made somehow. I don't know. It was a very weird one. We let it go on that one, but I wasn't sure. Yep. John going to claim. After a volatile cube comes his way, last roll. Um, interesting decision for Dana to send it at five away, six away on that one too, if you guys got to see it. Um, sometimes we want to be a little more conservative in volatile spots like that with the lead, but maybe right. Certainly seems reasonable. Those ones are hard to know how to adjust for sure. <laughs> Runk on earth. Okay. Shouldn't John have recube date on the come? Uh, no. No, he's an underdog there. So once he hits it, he's happy to claim. But if he sends the eight beforehand, then just uh, two thirds of the time he loses the match roughly, and one third of the time he wins. Here, when the one third where he does well, then he claims the four points and moves on to a big lead. And then otherwise, still gets to go to Crawford game when he loses. 3 1 generally tends to. Okay. Well, uh, we're on to the DM play P game on the other one. But yeah, that uh, John Dana game could be the five way, two way now. It's a little bit more to go. And five three open, three three. Uh, no one sent the cube at two way, two way yet. Even though you can. We'll see if someone loses their market. There it comes for Neil. Okay, he's going to make sure he doesn't lose his market. And 5-4 doesn't look like it has a way to play safe. Maybe it's stuck double hitting. It can, can't really reduce shots beyond that anyway. You can reduce blots and play six days, but, I mean, why not go for the two? And let's see what Ryan does in response. Big swing on this roll. Ace-deuce hits. Okay. Ryan doing well there. Otherwise, Neil is going to have big initiative. Five A's can make the better anchor for Neil. Nice entry. Four three is going to anchor up, I do believe. Leaves a direct six to do it, but uh, feels worth it. Three two can cover and play behind for Neil. And so Ryan, I think, wants to do something about that blot on the 11 point. I think maybe the best he can do with it here is actually just... Uh, yeah, I don't see the hitting play. I think he should just play behind. I think it's just time for simple plays here. He's got the slightly better board, but he already has the racing lead as far as I can tell, so I'm not sure why he wants to increase volatility like this. 5-1, I think Neil maybe wants to enter for more contact now. 8-3 uh, to three with it doesn't look too bad. Less covers for the four point, though. Yeah, Neil thinking hard about this one. What is the pip count? He must think it's close enough to 157. 57 to 140. Yeah, so down 17 pips, I think, after after this play. But to me, that uh, that indicates the goalkeeper for now. But he's under some pressure from the other blot. I don't know. He could be right about this. Maybe 17, he's not going to be able to keep it. Maybe Ryan's gaining on the contact anyway. Very interesting. Can't do a lot about his... I guess he could play behind with the 11 now, too. Neil doesn't have to break his anchor anymore, so I really don't think he wants to leave that blot on the 11. Yeah, he's going to be ahead 25 pips after the play, too, so why not just safety up? Uh, I don't know why he wants to play this big when he has a racing lead. Just wants to come home quiet. And Neil's dying to escape with that blot anyway. And if he can hit as well while he does it, that would be brilliant. So it's just really nice for, for Neil when he gets to hit. I think he just needs to play quiet. He's playing purely. This is not really so bad, I guess. 6-4 is, I mean, it's going to hit the start for sure. I would, I would like to gain those pips by hitting. Mm-hmm. 
And so the race, roughly even. Ryan still might make an easier game by uh, hitting with the three. No such luck. I guess giving up the midpoint can't be too bad here, but maybe we just come out to the bar instead and challenge. Yeah, less less shots, I guess. I like this. Yeah, he, keeps yeah, pressure he, on the block. He, he, yeah, he, he, this is okay. Two one gets. He probably just probably gonna make, more make the three. But it can hit twice too. Maybe that's a little uh, bit hit better. Twice, is it? I guess when he's outboarded, it probably makes the most sense well, to just make this yeah, point well, and let Ryan yeah, come to him. Behind in the race. I'm not sure he's how much he gains race, by hitting he... twice. I guess he gains more in the race, but he, he risks an ace gain, to yeah, come he down. A... Um, he might, he might lose 24 well. pips instantly by being hit back. Or, or, yeah, this is probably or, the perfect play. Or 13 play. if he gets hit on the... See how Ryan follows up. Probably just going to safety up on the 7. He's relying on his, on his um, restraint against the back checkers. It's, he's still allowed to make his bar point or four point or nine point. Double There's aces makes point. a nice blocking point. Okay. Ryan with some mobility issues now. Can't step up either, so stuck playing behind and keeping all his Probably structure. Make us two and keep us fair on the six. Looks good. So we've got. Hundred and twenty six. Forty-four. Forty-four. I don't like six to four. It's just <laughs> like I, I just—he's—he's he's sort of relying on—he's relying on, uh, on his ability to move the back check. Well, the midpoint's the next thing to go, I do believe. Very true. Very true. Six. Ryan Rebello's dad, Tom Rebello, pointed out that a four, four played eight to four is duplicated, would be duplicated if he played. Can't four turn this seven. into an attacking game plan for our opponent by running off the anchor, even with a racing lead if we had it, which it sounds like we don't. Uh, okay, this is another way to do it. Sure, sure. I guess this is actually less shots, huh? No, it's it's no, more. No, it's four. It's four versus three. But it's closer to home, and he has a spare on the seven. It sort of duplicates a joker if he stays back. Okay, but... six is going to solve a lot of problems. Yeah, now now this would you be must a, be favorite. It's four, it's four numbers, four numbers. Whether he moves two to the eight point or whether he moves one to the eight point. And... I guess he can make the no, four no, and he's ace. Duplicate. He no, he's got, no, no, no. He's on the. He'd be on the uh, fourteen. Be, be four numbers. Maybe he should just go for the, the attacking plan. Is four what he's thinking about here. Blot on the. I guess he could also fill in the four and the deuce and fill, leave he, the he checker he on the ace there. Four from here as well, but that's that would give him two six, more, not two six more six hitting six numbers. numbers. That's that that's six right. numbers doesn't feel yeah. right to me. Right. Or, no. And he got he would have got hit with six he, threes well, just coming he, in with if two. He, if he left it on the fourteen, he could have right. left it on the. He could have left it. Well, on he's going to save a six. Okay, he doesn't want to come off the anchor. This seems better to slap the point that you need. But six for contact. I guess he decided he would. I want that four point now. Well, in the long run, he wants to make it. All right, I'll give up two shots and I'll make it. I guess covers. I don't think we want to kill a checker yet with the deuce, so I like six, that in. You play six to four, it's not so bad. You, you, uh. You win just holding you, you the position don't, for Neil. You don't have to come that with, with any six now, right? And Such six is this. coming out. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just. Maybe the worst yeah. things too has to play six to three with it. Yeah, I would have, I, I would have played. What for what it's worth, I would have played six to four. Save the six. Mostly forced. <laughs> and low numbers close the game for Neil pretty much. I guess Ryan can have some ace point or two three point three. Five. Yeah, I mean, but... Very little. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> Four one any six three two is bad. Three two, I guess he just goes eight to five six to four. No need to leave any afford, shots. Can't afford to leave shot. Six, five, yeah. I guess he could still play okay in the race if he can escape. 
dodge an ace. Five right, three so nuts. Now he just comes breaking. down, of course. Yeah. Leaves no shots, but uh, one block gets the safety. One six not from R. Now he's bringing that. An ace to step up would be pretty nice yeah, for yeah. Ryan. Instead of not to fill that five point. Looking for fives from Neil, and he gets one. Uh, this is bad, but well, it's not so bad. He puts a spare on the six. He's six, puts it's him right not again. so bad for a non. A no, non, but he uh, could roll again. He would roll again. It's, it's below air. Because he might, he might, you know, he has a lot to think make. think Ryan's worrying about it too the, much anymore. Uh, point <laughs> of, of, you know, the one in, two. He's got, he's got, he's got a 13, 13, 12, 13, 14. Probably shuffles 14 the ways to make, them want, make the two point okay. without, and keep a six point point. Double. They're playing. They're, I I I think they are. I think, I think the semifinals. The semifinals get played tonight. Breeze is going to point on the ace and leave Zion a two five or a two six to get into the race. Good shot for Neil though. And he almost five a two five. <laughs> Who's he looking He's got for the now? same fourteen numbers. Four three closes. Ryan nearly dead. He's got enough winning chances. John appears to be losing a gammon on the other side to go down 2-1 post Crawford. 2-1 Crawford, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Yeah, I bet we'll be able to catch the end of that after uh, this match wraps up right here. Is Ryan getting back in this race somehow? Doesn't look dead. He's got a checker on. He's only half dead. <laughs> I missed the vultures bad. are circling. Yeah, John O'Hagan down two away, one away Crawford. On stream two. Catch up on that one. So For those who care, I saw a bald eagle in the wilds of New Hampshire. First time I've ever seen one in the wild. In the home. Near my, near my home. Breeze is three off. Pretty nice shot. Oh, and eight checkers left still has some hope. What do you want, Carter? Yeah, I, I, yeah. there was one around. And me. Ryan resigned it. Okay, okay. That's one match for Neil so far. I don't know if they'll take a short break before the next one, but if we have a minute, we might uh, hop over to John O'Hagan and Dana Nazarian on the other stream. Yeah. All right. That's one for me, Tara. We'll talk about it either way. We'll see if uh, Tara brings it over to stream one here. Ryan has a bot chip so in his ear. John, Ryan is John is oh, playing, Ryan a, is playing a flexible play. I saw play is a That didn't make sense. And two or make three. I would. I, I can't. I can't stand not to two. Just really can't stand it. Maybe and feels a little bit bad at Gavin Safe. Brian, okay. Dana in a good shot in this Crawford game. Then only had one entering. Six one go. covers Shot. and attacks again or makes the four prime. Sure, sure, okay. Leaves sixes from the bar, but does really well against that twenty-four point anchor. A six is gonna hit, but puts that illegal third on the twenty-four. Tough position for John. And yeah, you guys are playing all yours tonight, Ryan. But ask Tara, I mean you might be able to wait a little bit before you start. I don't know. Three hey, one for Dana. From the roof? He ended yeah. with the three and he's thinking about the one, is that and he says it's more important for, i think it's more important for me to diversify my escaping numbers than to diversify my two four numbers. points on head okay good response i, for I, I myself would have played six to five but not confident of that George. five anchors up at this two-way scoreline very nice thing to do i think it's even worth leaving a shot in front i would rather be hit there than on the edge where my opponent wants to activate those 24 point checkers yeah, and this is this is a duplication of a two to advance, or two six to make the outside point. Five four looks like it's coming around at least. Yeah, probably, probably sixteen to seven. Plotting the bar, not so bad. I don't know if he wants to play play games. Well, I'm not like sure who's uh, transcribing and doing all the PRs. Like slotting two points outside and. 
Find a playback game. He says, "All right." He says, "I will, uh, I will duplicate a four instead of leaving a mirror two and now or two uh, extends the back of the well, Oh no, it can hit two. Says, I can could. Back. He could make the four point. He could just make the four point. I think it's right without thinking about it. Because because now now the trouble with this is that John may end up with a double anchor. Uh -oh. Go to break for a minute. What does that mean? Yeah, these are complicated. These are complicated plays. I mean, since Dana only minute. has to win the game, I think maybe the four point is best. <laughs> We're gonna keep talking about the other one. Hey, what's up, everybody? You don't care about winning a game. Oh, now are they back? They're back with Of course, Ryan we're back. Yeah. No, no, no. We've been on commercial break. Of course, Marty's still talking <laughs> during the commercials, but that's cool. What commercial? But we're back. Uh, we're still talking about uh, John and Dana on the stream B until Ryan and Neil start over here. So if you want to bring that up visually, you're welcome to. Oh, Tara's switching them over for us, too. Yes. So that you see it on there, I think. I don't know if that happened or not. Doesn't look like it, but whatever. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, she's setting it up with uh, the new layout so we can have the live transcription for the semifinals here, too. Rory's going to do that for us. Most excellent. No, I might need to go to the Dana did hit and tap the hit checker on the board surface, as he is wont to do. Fine. If, we, if one of us needs a break, we'll let you know. We're not going to look at the PR. Trust me. You can trust us. The cool. timing is still rather bad. For, I'm not going to uh, cheat and... John O'Higgins. No, Pretty no, sure no. Ryan's not going to cheat. It's going to so. be the same thing for. So if we if, if we take a break, it is straight to the bathroom. And Dana says, I don't want to hit a second. Thing thing we'll second. Final, so this keep my five yep. prime. Thank you. And Hope that John cannot go anywhere fast. And now I think I will make a. F I will extend my five prime. He says, and this looks darn good to me. Two six on the bar. Four, four from the so we can't see I can't tell if we have Ryan at the table yet. Neil's there and looks ready to go. We don't have Super excited to have the transcription going with it, too. He's not done yet. He's, gonna, he's thinking about, he's thinking about 10, to, 10 to 7. And we're off in match two on uh, between Ryan and Neil. Four three down to open. Four five is going to hit the outfield. Two one. Can't hit anything. I guess you can just step up to the twenty two. Ryan, okay. Ryan, Ryan. Squatting with three backs seems reasonable. Yeah, I like this play. Fairly, fairly sure. Ryan versus Neil. Okay. And so far, three five hits in the outfield. Neil yeah. making progress no, towards uh, just freedom. No contest for that one. Huh? Only three hit cover five, numbers. Okay. Level four, three, and five. I knocked it. 
Six two. He's got his back game all set up. A little early for that though, so we got to get the back checkers moving. Like that play. Yeah, you don't want him to. Six one points on head. Beautiful shot. Really. Maybe making the five along with this would be nice no, structure for Ryan. Yeah, he's got a lot of duplications for making points. But... Not sure about the six out seems reasonable again to challenge those plots in case uh, Neil can develop somehow but can't clean up both. It increases. Keep the trying. Chance. It's good for time and increases the chance for advanced anchor. Or if he is hit, well, if he's not hit, then he's got, he's got, um, you know, maybe a quarter chance to make it. Of course, the six down helps him work on his offense. If you consider it only a but he looks a little overrun with the strip the, midpoint this, there. Yeah, this is the not this, it is, this is keeping the checkers flowing. It's diversion against. Uh, Be too likely to just clean out various outside points. So he's going to stack them six. up, I guess. I don't know what else there is. You duplicate anything, not really. Stack them. Sean, why do you think Ryan is stalling? I don't know what that means. 5 4 is coming around the bend, and 4 can slot a point too. We could step up and try to make the advanced anchor. I'm not sure. Oh, it's tough. Yeah, he doesn't. I guess Ryan doesn't want to let him put builders in the outfield freely right. while he's That's got a nice. blot on his 5 point. But he might say, well, maybe I'll step up later and I'll keep the guy out there to... Or, but he says, no, I'm going to... Wait a minute. I'm going to pull... I think he's played two fives and a four now. Yeah, there okay, we go. Yeah, Neil's... More uh, legal. I would rather have a spare on the midpoint. <laughs> and... Double sixes. Oh, so, so we did. Lots of racing activity. I am going to structure. Now he could have re. I think he is considered wants to stay back for behind, contact. But now. I think that would hurt his chance. His, his numbers that it allows Neil to unstack on a high point here and develop the prime. Six one, I think would play safe if he got it. It's on Ryan's Six clock one, for some I would, reason. I would play safe. Oh, oh there, double uh, threes is a knockoff. That's off. one reason you're going to. Uh, he says, and, "Shall I?" And a four point. A referendum, me and probably referendum of which point to make, and I, a pass. I believe, I believe a cube, and, and it looks like Neil's winning the first point. Probably a pass. Ryan Bush's feels like less clear whether or not we can't play on for a roll. Maybe there's a bad roll here, but I don't know. Everyone's being very gentlemanly because I believe that the rule of uh, USBGS. If you touch a if you touch a given cube, that's a that's an acceptance. <laughs> but it was clear clear that Ryan is just adjusting the position of the cube. So you look at the position. So no, so Neil is not going to be a stickler for for the rules, which I I like that aspect. Like John's game, winding down. A uh, yeah, and Dana is he may still leave blots and all that. And now okay. Oh, so one reason not to the classic position. one reason not to uh keep multiple checkers on the you know, three checkers on the 24 point on that other games yeah i shouldn't talk about that <laughs> throw one you can yeah. now he should stay for one more roll right yeah this is now we're talking about stream two yeah no he should not stay one more roll i don't think yeah i, I think he, gives too, much, he gives too much away um, on, the, on the ones yeah. Got a fish for another one. Versus, you know, two ones in a row. And it's this, this is like a tiny, tiny difference between having having a check run and base point. <laughs> you block double ones and you... Oh, Ryan really spending a lot of time going over this cube. It looks like and, a pretty clear drop. Oh, then... Then... John won a gammon from here. No, that's... A... I'm not sure why he thinks this would be, like, winning enough. The pips are gigantic. And he's going to take it. Wow. Hop wow. Out the oh, it's actually only a 71 pass. You know, okay. This is less flexible and has work to do to close this out. So I don't mind this take at all with how close it is on on three and four ply there. That's surprising. So is, you said it was a take or what is pass? I would, I was, I would be passing it. Oh, impressive stuff. But is it? Did, did somebody say that? I gotta go tell Ryari how to, uh, oh, how to uh, oh, transcribe too, so he can give us the hint earlier instead of just know. leaving it up while they I think. 
I guess we're just making the A's for lack of options here. Yeah, you want to spare on your, on your seven point. Yeah, and you, you, know, you, you, you know, you. Spotted you better off. You keep your spares in a better position higher up. The benefit of moving low down is you can. Wow, I'm really impressed. He wins thirty percent of these games. That's something. Three, two, and now he nice. says, "All right, I will save time. I will I'll make my three point. Like, could do me." He talked about these before yeah, the match, though, like that you always prime, have at least the winning chances right of a 23 now. point game. Six, or six, and one. Neil hadn't made the three point six, yet. Leads, Still yeah, has work to do to get home. And now, uh, you know, the, 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 the seven point for uh, for um, Mr. Kazros is a problem point. So now he's going to play seven to five because. Seven is not a good place for spare, and the, is the five is a good shot for five, spare. Four is a shot. Five and five, four. Yeah, and six, six. Six, one plays behind, gets ready six, to clear. One, he says, I don't want to leave a double shot with a six. What would it be out? Five, probably better to slot the, four would have the next point. Shot. Now it does not leave a double shot. Now Three, this two, is a two, beautiful roll. For, for Neil, bears are just where he wants them. Not too many gammons in this position, oh, but tough to win it for Ryan. And of course, he doesn't roll. Good news is he clears a six point. Very, very good news. The teeny weeny bad news is that he backs a fourth check artist. Probably. Yeah. Peel yeah, why not? And peel. peel and incur the double jeopardy. It's 6 5 now. Yeah, that's right. And an extra guy. An extra guy. Oh, yeah, agreed. Normally, you peel checkers off against a 23 anchor. Dennis, Two could Dennis cross in right. Dave Gammons. Spot sure. on about, I believe, about that. About bearing off. So he. 5 2 can't do anything interesting. Doesn't help the gammon you know, chances sometimes, either. Sometimes you don't clear, and sometimes you get awkward, but. The other way, sometimes you leave it a meter shot. Here's Six three, shot. okay. Okay, wash that man right out of his hair. He misses. Who's can still Especially win? Especially if he comes in without a hit. Two oh, hits, okay. Two three, all right. Three's so. gonna come in. No reason to leave just one six from the bar. The persistent Ryan Ravella. Well, he could have a fourth builder for the ace point. Yeah, I guess that's reasonable too. Okay, there is a reason. There's always a reason. Six one is pretty good anyway. Right. Although it wins more gammons, yeah. but it, but a but a, another checker back can help catch fleeing white runner. Making his take work for him. Six what? Six up was scary. And here it comes back with five off. Can this? Okay, I actually think this is okay. I was thinking that he had to get a little bit further. Yeah, I would still take this. It must be close though. Because it's uh, he hasn't made the one point yet. The gaps tend to be like a whole checker worse in a lot of cases. Yeah, I, I know, but he he hasn't made the one point yet. Very quick. He's he's allowed to roll a double one. He's allowed to roll a one six. He's allowed to roll a one x and Bob, yeah, get hit six, six. Okay, that's that's good. And he's allowed to roll double twos now. Well, that's a tiny probably. Because all right, I will, I will not leave a double six blot number. Uh, go to the go to the fourteen. I would not do this. He says I, he's thinking about double double six is exactly is uh, slightly got better. Containment of keeping you. But now now he's got three three bot numbers six five and six six. Four two is an excellent one. Mm -hmm. Now he says I'm gonna yeah that's all right. So now he wants to. Uh, he was right. He, he was right to keep his fares high. War, ch War Checkers Off is really great for Mr. Rebello Jr. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Five you, off, off. That's yeah. that's appeal. Okay. That's what, five off I would do. Ryan says, oh, I win I win so much more often than I that I'm going to okay. whatever you see. Um, I would be less optimistic in my outlook. I would have been I would have taken off that extra shucker. Oh now I would oh man. Especially since there are a lot of fours that um, that Neil might roll that force him to run, and he does want an extra checker off. You know? He's got an odd number of checkers now, 
And now Neil says, all right, I'm not going to fill the two point. I'm not going to fill two point. Get across over. Ryan wishes he had that to check her off, whatever. Neil says, I want doubles and an O from B. One B, he's going to come closer. I think he's right. Supposedly, you know, he's... He's happy to be in there. Got an even number of checkers, and he can get four off, two off, four off. Uh, so, so four to two. Yeah, so four off, four off, uh, four off, four to two is. Uh, catch up, please. That's three off with double threes. Slow down a little bit. Three off with double fours. Three off with double fives. Just about as good as getting four off of those numbers. Can we play? Point nine seven kill and five points. Don't you have a two to play? Yeah, point nine seven. Oh. Is. No, you still have a two to play. That's my record of, yeah. of a reasonable length of match. I had a zero point nine seven myself last year. So I, I he doesn't get three off of three three, and, and he does get four off. Of four, so I think he was better off to play for the. Better off to play for three off instead of four off by playing uh, four to two last turn, Neil. But now he's got to roll. He's got to roll two doubles. He's got to at least three off, and that's it. Yeah. Beautiful time to hit me. So Neil likely made a tiny error in the bear off in the position where he's a big underdog anyway. But Ryan gets four points. A 112, what are they? Maybe they're, maybe they're doing a, uh, maybe that 1.12 was a, a deeper analysis that they use. I don't know. Versus 0 0.97. Maybe somebody else got the 1.12. I doubt it. Or, or that, that might be the running, running, uh, running PR of this man. Maybe that. And he says, I know how to play this one. He's going to double all but the best rolls and, yeah he's well now he can play on he can play on now i think but it's worth playing on probably is worth playing. uh i was trying to get rory to start using the hidden button for us doesn't seem like it works <laughs> probably just probably just a double a lot of ways to regain your market That's PR. a running PR. Yeah. Of just this match? Yeah, no? it's this. I think it's this match. Oh, the, this match. This match only? This match. That's what I asked. Yeah. Yeah. That's. We violently agree with one another. So now Neil has rolled the Joker's pointing number. But he rolled before. One slot, two, two, maybe Joker, before Ryan. Three, three Joker. Had, he played a 5 1. Hit his claw. Okay, got it? But is he going to allow, is going to allow the question is was it a legal roll is that what they're doing because i think i think maybe ryan hadn't pressed his clock yet and he'll roll the three three in which case the three three wouldn't count strictly speaking but maybe if he made as if to hit it then it, i think it would count you got it okay yeah and, and whatever ryan's accepting it And Neil was happy to make the 22 point and put a spare checker builder on the eight. 22 anchor is worth worth a lot. Good defense. It's you can, you can race. Wow. I suppose he makes the bar point. Those solid primes, when you, when you have more checkers back than your opponent, solid primes gain in value because you don't you don't want to uh, you want to maintain chances to block your opponent. And the most efficient way to deploy your forward checkers is to make a prime. The most efficient for inhibiting your opponent's movement and for allowing you to 
concentrate on uh, moving your back checkers without fear of getting primed yourself. It's a little skinny because uh, it would be a market loss if you get you know, you have to roll double threes or fours. If or you something. throw a six one stands. It's, it's still not. Yeah, it's that, not that, like right, yeah, no, mean, it's it's not. Bad. Now he's he's gonna leave him 10, 10 return shots here. Yeah, it's it's ten ten returns, and now I suppose slot the bar. Yeah. Ryan's pretty, pretty quick to look at it. That's fewer shots, but it gains a little far less. He might still hit a return shot after being hit. Good miss. Right. A good miss is to make the five prime. But now Ryan can make a five yeah. prime on his own, and now he says, "Do I, do I maintain the slot or do Can't I leave it there now? Do I safety it?" I believe Dennis is right when he says, "Left." The sixes are coming out now. Yeah, it wasn't like you. Yeah, but oh, three two. He's got to dump a checker. Otherwise, he can't maintain his five prime. And a four one ugly muggly wooglies. I guess he has to. I guess he just has to play. Uh, is he gonna? Is four he gonna? And four and twelve. Is he gonna? Yeah, he can pay off to uh, four or five. Four or five six five. And there's. Yeah, there's six, yeah six three is good. The sixes are generally good because they can they can they can exit. So you're duplicating some exiting numbers with some hitting numbers. And he says, "No, I'm still oh, I'm still blocked." And he says, "All right, I'm gonna duplication schmooplication." Now, Black's the one with a duplicated one to hit. And Ryan says, "All right, I'll probably just pass a cube, but for form's sake, I'll play thirteen to nine." And Neil was, Neil was happily contemplating. He says, "All right, I'll double and I'll pass." Yeah. Neil is on the comeback trail, five away to Ryan's three away. In the seven-point match on the 9th of February, 2023. Um, of a two cube for the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not quite sure. I was just looking at that, but I forget what I as as is, as is my want. I forget what I was looking at or why. But uh, this is something I don't have at my fingertips normally. That you know, random take points, at, cubeless take points, you know, things like that. I assume you mean the cubeless take point, Dennis, right? Gammonless cubeless take point. That yeah. score, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For those who don't know, um, there are these things called match equity tables, which give you know people's best guess at winning chances from different match scores. And if you know those equities in those tables you can know there's one in particular that's a, a good table it's called Just it's called Kazaros like xg2 that. and Ka it's it was um formulated by neil neil himself maybe with some collaboration but i think it's primarily by neil take advantage in this three-way five-way has to be a little slower at the cube probably not yes he has to be slower and uh brian says all right oh, i'm not that going borderline to borderline shows us there we go Borderline double. Super close. Those are hard to find. Safer to just wait. And technically correct there to wait too. All right. And there's a beautiful two one. Well, semi beautiful. Good. Sace goes. Yeah, he, he just minimizes returns over there. News. That's that the bad news and the bad well. news. <laughs> and I guess double fives is wanted. What Five is, is semi okay. I don't know if this is better than last time he thought about it. Well, three three away to five away. He's gonna nice say, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to try it." And when it's this gamanish's position, it should be a relatively easy take for Neil too. 
At three away, you just got to pretend like they're not going to win again and the price goes down anyway and count on your recube if you've got wins. So Marty was talking about the charts and the tables, uh, take points. Uh, there's numbers attached to all the different match links and gammon lists. So you have to mm -hmm. uh, compose how many gammons are in the match and make adjustments. But it's good to know what the take points are you know, without the gamut. So you have a base of knowledge uh. uh, to think about. Then I you, argue the contrary. Then, then you could you could extrapolate <laughs> you could extrapolate other information and adjust adjust your estimates of what your winning chances are and how much it's how many so winning rare. chances you need to take. That, like a good example here is like your take you point know, doesn't help you at all, right? Yeah, you you need to know the you need to have a good estimate of how many times you will be gammoned as white. Yeah, because you will be gammoned a fair and amount. Let it go. Wow, that's a big mistake. Okay, letting them right back in the PR race. Yeah, that's a big one. So that was a big, that was a big, so, so yeah, and it's tempting to just pass because you can visualize the sequence where you get gammoned. Oh, he, he makes a point, he hits me, I miss, he covers, and now suddenly you have, you have oh, two on the bar against the five point board. Or two uh, points on head. So those, those, two those numbers five are useful, way. but it's more important to get the right answer like you did just by field there. You might know the numbers, but you but can't read the position. How many times you get gammoned or how many losses you, you yeah the wrong day, you come up right with right you have chances. to you have to be good at estimating your your winning chances and your gammon winning chances and your gammon losing chances that's what nick was alluding to it thank you right well my favorite way to put it the 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 dead cube take point is a 28.73 there for neil uh how does that help you <laughs> right. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that, that yeah it was i knew right. it was 28 yeah. i knew it was 28 something some something like that because i was yeah. just looking at nick's book <laughs> it's so rare that that comes into play i mean that'll matter on a last roll position right but what really matters is that you might get a recube in and that the gammons are less valuable and that yours are way more valuable right so there's just all these other features that yeah you don't have you don't have better. to be a geek with with memorizing numbers is what mm -hmm. nick is i'm not going to say trying to say it's what he is saying <laughs> yes <laughs> I hate exactly. when people say, what, what you're trying to say is this. And it's like, that's what I am saying. You can't. What do you mean trying to say? And and Ryan has already shown himself to be a lover of bar point slots. Yeah, it's not too far off. Oh, he loves this. So this is interesting with the purple overlay on that. Okay. Yeah, you could, of course, he could go 1310 and 1110 uh, and 11 5 or 13 4. I'm not sure which I would prefer. I think Marty is John Matt. Someone asked if you were Joe Buck or Chris Collinsworth. I don't know who this who those I don't people really are. Know. <laughs> Sports commentators. Oh no, football I don't. Football commentators. Yeah, no, I don't know much about American them. rugby commentators. I don't know enough about those. I'm not games. sure why he doesn't want to keep why it simple though. This isn't yeah, yeah, this is his own rule. Thirteen four is fine. Just Anything that just comes in though, yeah. Give yourself a triple cover. I don't really know why he wants to overcomplicate this position. But, uh, I mean, it's a similar position. Well, it's where... a big swing against him if he is hit. Yeah. And is it as big a swing for him if he is not hit? Yeah, well, in this, case, so. in this case, in this case, it's, but, it's but, huge. Yeah, you make it as often if you have to yeah. Yeah, yeah, if, you're, you, if you are hit, you're, you're, you make it less often. So you, could... you don't tend to love it sl to slot it when you have a lot of natural ways to make it, too, and time to do that, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, so you had something like eight natural ways to make it. If you played one of those other numbers, last those. chance for Neil but, to keep but, his structure in front. But, Ryan with a lot better timing. As Dennis said before, when you're considering whether to slot a key point, you can you can try to say to yourself, "Well, Nine what years. are my chances of making it over the next two turns?" Who's going to get to the edge and hit for sure? And uh, Ryan in great shape in this game. Maybe going to win a gammon for the match in this position if things go well. And currently, and Neil just not, the PR Neil list. says, uh oh. Bots the ace, probably? Or does it switch to the ace? I suppose he switches and maintains a four point board. Look at this. A little bit better to uh, keep it pure. Very strange. Oh, keep it pure, really. What is pure? Yeah, that's hard. I mean, he's under 20% either save way. Save the five point? Uh, you can just play it all in from the outside and save the five. Yeah, you have to slap the ace to do it. Uh, hitting off the edge seems great, of course, Ryan. Yeah. Oh, you mean slot slot the ace yeah. and leave a direct shot? 
Yeah, I'm not sure why he wants to just come out here. This is a very priming thematic kind of thing. Wins more gammons clearly. Your opponent's already cracked. Like, what are you? Oh, I would, about? I would definitely, I would, I would hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a position like this against Ryan. Well, not like this. It was similar theme. I wanted to, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to attack, but I had this fetish for keeping my prime, and I made a bunch of blunders. Oh, he has to put it on the bar, though. He can't just hide. Yeah, it you can't. Either. Yeah, you can't hide it. There's a variant where you do that, right? Where it's in jail underneath there. All right, Ryan well, always playing well, on. Ryan this says, I do want to win on a double gammon. And I certainly will try right Ryan away. Covers, and we'll put it on the I do here. not want my opponent to anchor, so I'll put two of the checkers on the bar, despite sure the fact that seven covers. Double threes, double fives doesn't crack, no. especially now. Well, double threes switches to the one point now. Yeah, not the biggest. I would have, I would have, I would have done this. I, I still really don't want him to anchor. Oh, and Neil does or anchor. Neil does anchor. Andy better hit, right? Really? Better, wow, better, no, two on the bar. Two on the bar. Hit. That wins the most games, right? Doesn't does it not? I you mean, may not get gammed any more than that, do you? Yeah, and then and then and if you you're if you injury. save the gammon, you're you've got only sixteen percent winning chances. And you you might actually it. save the gammon from here. You might actually win because you have more timing, even though you're not favored. And you might actually roll double one and then come out. Might actually roll one four and then save the gammon. Any fans? Any rolls a six? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Five one was in the same category. All right. <laughs> this is why it's called backgammon. This is why. Oh, oh. Six. Clears moogly, the moogly. Okay. He didn't roll the darn six. Uh, there's no, there's only there was one cover double fives right I there. I feel like the four should Where go twenty to sixteen to try to see sixes out. That that is better in the short term. That might be key. I have more direct more shots immediately if he runs out. Outfield coverage seems huge here. But it it is huge. But you you are now um, there's a such there's such thing as maximizing your coverage chances. Oh, he over, can create an ace, too. He missed a little tactical opportunity to come off the 22 there. A what? And shake more blocks loose. Yeah, so now when uh, Neil well, rolls... Well, not anymore. The last roll of Neil rolled an ace, he would uh had to take a checker off the four. Now he had, can play hit with an ace, yeah. I agree that that was a, a better thing. That was a tricky one to look for. Yeah, a, a gammon, is, gammon is nice. Wants to block double What's sixes? the gammon value? Not super great gammon. Yeah, tough to calculate, but uh, not so much higher than usual. Higher, though. I mean, I'm higher. sure. Yeah. I mean, well, actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking sure. about for Ryan. Yeah. Not for... Uh... I'm actually not sure of that. On a two cube, the game... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you nine one four. Crawford with a, with a, with a yeah. single win. Point nine one four is the answer. Five, five, three. For, for Ryan? Yeah. I'll slow down. It's not the, too the, surprising. The value of a gammon is compared to the value of a single win for Ryan? Yeah. It's 0.914? Yeah. All these numbers are wild. And I... <laughs> I love it. And so he, gets, he goes from... <laughs> so the difference between winning a single game and winning a gammon... Yeah, you can do it on pencil and paper with a match equity is, table. Well, you can do it in your head if you know the match equity. Yeah. So you can like, do it on so the So he gains, he gains on... <laughs> so, so an extra... An extra Extra gammon gets him from oh, who's Dick Aaron? from eighty four to hundred. I'm Tony so that, Romo. So I don't know what so that he means. Sixteen. Who's going on a rant? Oh, Dennis Miller. Okay. <laughs> and a win. For Rory is a world class tournament director and a fine player. No comments on his transcription skills, though. Okay. I don't know. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm too um, bewildered to do arithmetic right now. Getting a blot out of the mix seems nice for you. Get out of the blot and then he, what was it? Pays to the A6, not too scary against the two point board. And but keeping his opponent from recirculating with sixes seems like pretty strong. Forward, Three two, I think he wants to cover it. I don't I just don't think he wants his opponent to come out for now. Yeah, because you know, he can he can win a few gammons this way and uh Neil's gonna yeah. buy hotels on the one points. Somehow at the Monopoly, and Ryan just says, all right, I'm coming into the five point. I know a sphere is good there. I'm not going to think about anything more than that. Let's well, just see Probably what Plus right. Plus thinks of this match, because somehow Ryan's gained quite a bit of PR in this little, like, uh, containment towards the end. I, it seems like three-ply weirdness more than anything. 
I don't think he's made anything that could be that big of a mistake. Now, if you get a, a, a he's still tall enough, favorite, he's still a favorite to save the gamma. Even now. yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Now, if you get a tall Maybe enough like stack on the one point, then yeah. then the rule is that they connect with the twenty-four point and you could bear off from the twenty-four point as if they're on the one. Lies extension. <laughs> I didn't quite get that. But... Well, no. If you, in other words, if you extend the checkers on the one point out, Marty is telling lies. Stack. Going up to the edge of the board, and that would be. I think it's uh, better to go for the weird board. distribution, but uh. It's a silly joke, but it's my joke. <laughs> it's my own joke. <laughs> Five, I mean, two, two, in. Like, I've heard that oh joke before, Marty. Point, points. I have said it before. Yeah. That's why I've heard it. <laughs> I don't know. I think I heard that's someone else. Of, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. It's, nothing's Four, original. three just has to clear. Uh, he's going to take two what? off. Oh, he's going to say, he says, I went off it enough that I'm going to... Oh, holy shit, he's I'm right. Gonna, I'm going to go for the east of snow, but I, I still can... I yeah, still it looks can, so ugly, and it's going to leave a ton of shots it's anyway. It's interesting. He said, you know, it's creative. Yeah. Does he get... Does he get... Um, Four times in a row. Actually... Does he, lo does he lose enough damn equity by being hit? Yeah, I can't see the green numbers on this layout right well enough. Off. It might be right, sure. Yeah. Did you look at the bot or you yeah. just... Oh, the bot's over yeah. there. Oh, oh, I see. The, they have the equities on the screen. Rudy Langdon bot. Rudy Langdon bot. Getting two off there, well, that would be really, really uh, creative. That'd be pushing the limits of that. <laughs> and <laughs> Neil, Neil fans. And he says, All right, right this is now, working. I'm going to... yeah, the PRs are like neck and neck. I guess Neil should try to hit a shot to save the gammon. I I I would because it, it's so you know he can get some delay. Like if he rolls like a five three, he has to play safe. He doesn't have to, but he can. You know, he should probably. Now he should just, I rip him yeah. off. He should rip yeah. him yeah. off. He's got to fight for the gammon here. Yeah. He's got four in his three point, right? Keeping a four point board is a good way to do it either too. I don't know off the top of my head now. Cool, it's getting close. You mean the first match? Oh, it was a uh, zero point nine seven for Neil and five point something for Ryan. First game. Oh, oh. I was thinking. I was thinking. Oh, gosh, it was the. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Double six to save the gammon. Now he's gonna say, "Well, I have to hit to save the gammon, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try." And there's the back gammon. Superfluous backgammon. Yeah, that's a that's an argument for being aware of your for making every move, every little every little move correct, right? Every little tiny. Barbary, what do we got? Sometimes these things can be decided by like systematic errors by XG. Like sometimes it. Bears in inefficiently in races, but little tiny things where it, it dings you for for moves that are really right, and they're like barons. And so you know, it's 0.03 here, 0.04 there, you know, and they they can add up in a you know, just a straight race where the humans are going to play slightly better than XG. The best humans are in those kind of positions, and if you get enough of those decisions, it might a close PR it might swing the decision. Excellent. Just, just Excellent. XG's misevaluating things. That's all I need. I get a point. Yeah, that, that's less frequently seen. You know, the, it's less frequently seen that that uh, you get a position where XG is making those kinds of errors. Because it's very good. It's very good containment in like normal non-snake like non-back game like positions. Very good at containment. But that's a little known fact. Matt Reclitus. Matt Reclitus has done. Empirical work on that. He test, tested tested XG against uh, humans and things like that, and he he believes XG is, is great. And I do too, because I I see XG making really really logical moves. But in back games, I think it's massive back games. I think it, it's got some weaknesses, but those are rare. Um, those are relatively rare, especially these days, like what Ryan. Ryan doesn't play against a lot of back games. He plays on Galaxy a lot and everything like that. And people are trying to win on PR and get rating points on that server. You know, you have to have a better PR performance rating, stream gammon performance rating, um, than your opponent in order to gain rating points for winning a match. 
if you win the match, but you have a worse PR, you gain, you don't lose any rating points, but you, you, you don't gain any. So you have to both win a match and have a, a better performance rating. Computer evaluated, you know, moves have to be better um, than your opponent. Yeah. Yeah, it's um it's it's brutal because you know the, the bot is not a perfect evaluator of uh correctness, you know, it's it's pretty darn good. It's better than any human. But in certain kinds of positions it's not better than any human. But those positions as I was saying before are rarely seen and the fact that a young player like ryan plays a lot in an environment where the what the computer thinks of your moves matters a lot he's not going to be playing against these back games these you know backward going gammon prone strategies but but you know you can win, you can win a lot of games too if you play a back game well and etc so he was you know the, the, that's that's where the that's where um, the, the the bot can go really wrong, and you can you know lose a PR in a match because the bot doesn't know what it's doing. But usually it does. The the the, 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 the he he lost the PR in the first match, and he. He lost, so he lost. He lost two in the first match, I think. And now, so so Neil's got three points, and uh, Ryan's got one point. And so the PR, they still have to plus plus that. Oh, they didn't plus plus. Oh, plus plus is the is the criterion. Okay. So this that's a that's a just a, that's just a normal four ply analysis with an XGR plus on a that's what they're doing on a move threshold. Yeah. Yeah, so the computer has all of these different sophisticated ways of evaluating performance. And you can, the, 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 the more deeply you want it to analyze, the, the longer it takes to do so. And the best shortish analysis level, short in terms of how long it takes, is called XGR++, which is like a mini rollout. In other words, if you don't you don't just look ahead a, a few steps and use your static evaluation function, like just looking at the feature of the position to give the position a value and judge the best move, you at each hey, step of your look ahead you you, you do like a mini rollout. Are you paying for this room? Right. You roll it three hundred and sixty times. Take care of the men's room uh, any, and you get to a certain um so we're not a hundred percent certain what the what the semifinal score is with PR points and match yeah. win points. They both won one match, right? Both yeah, they won, both won, won a match, point. and it looks like Neil. So that means that we need. It the looks last like match Neil no won. No, he he. Regardless of the plus so plus. We're playing versus, third match here. Here we go. This, this is the third match, and and uh, one split the start. I, I think probably probably Neil has got uh, at least. Uh, well, he's got. He probably has three PR points. Or three points. Yeah. Doesn't change anything, no. Uh, still wants to attack behind the ace. I guess we're just going to come around to the six from there. for racing. Uh, 13 to eight with it, sure. That's fine. Making the three just seems like... I don't I don't know why we need to do all this. Against already made it, 23. It decreases the amount of cover numbers he's got for the, for the um, five point. By a little, oh, by a bit. He's he still covers with well he he still hits and covers with yeah. double four. Playing this way is going to be he a blunder. Twice and he hits twice and he says this yeah. this is Good a fine. this is going to win more games probably. And right, he would have so he, he would have cover. been covering anyway. Mm -hmm. But now but Neil left fewer return shots by by the move he made. I won. And since he's got a play simple since he has a checker escaped he's he's in a race more of a racing game plan. Mm -hmm. So he's got the checkers on the one point, and so he doesn't mind like trying to <laughs> trying to just come home in an orderly fashion. <laughs> <Mario>. <laughs> so he's 
So <laughs> let's see what's happening here. Yeah, containment on it with that 1311 is super nice. The six out actually helps contain too. He keeps the anchor in front of the made ace point. I think, yeah, everything about that seems to matter. Good play by Ryan. Neil just trying to see the light, step up a little bit. Or two can block that nine out, or that six out. Make the nine point, yeah. Yeah, you should make, you should make the nine point. Looks beautiful. The four escaping is duplicated to make, make, make a point, like four or five, for example. Four six, six, four is, can't four make six is pretty ugly. Yikes, yikes. <laughs> Where can the six go? I guess the six is just going to the three almost no matter what. I think so. I, I don't think you're going to play. And so then why to seven and, 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 and any, you can play 13 to seven and 22 to 18 and leave a quadruple yeah. shot. <laughs> I don't think so. Right. So, I mean, once we see that the nines go into the three, then why not 22 to 18 with it instead of creating another block? Well, hmm. Well, why not? Well, I guess, yeah, you could create another block, but. I'd have probably done 13 9. Uh, 13, nine, nine, 13 9 seems. Well, you don't. You, you get you get hit outside the board like less often. Nine, but he's going to pause to think about it. He is a small favorite, but I mean, still a lot of work to do to escape. The hits aren't deadly with only a two point board. It's just a little early. He'll way down in the race, too. So if Neil escapes, he's in fine shape here. Interesting, though. You're seeing the power of structure in this game for sure. Or two, I think, has to try to hit. Yeah, uh, I, think, I, well, I was he, assuming from the midpoint, but yeah, he, he can does remake have the nine. He's got he's got time to remake the nine. I think it, it gives up the midpoint, but it's but the yeah. nine points a valuable point. And the reason is that if you, around, you roll okay, away too. from a five prime. Yeah, you roll away from yeah. a five prime, and uh, if you get hit back outside, too. you have many return shots. Yeah, all if indirect and a lot over and there. To chase if you get hit back like that, you have many return shots. And if you didn't get hit back at all, Ooh. now he fans, but Neil says, all right, I know, I got you, but I, I predict he takes this. It, it would require a hit and cover at a fan. Quite attractive. I don't know. It's Ugly position, though. I hit, I hit. And a, and Neil has and to figure out that he still a, wins I, quite I, a bit. I mean, it's I, hard to estimate this all the way up to 36.5%. I think there's a lot of The gammons look clear. You know, for, for Brian, so I think he's... I think you should take it despite the gammon day. One of the problems with leaving a lot of blots is that if you you get an accidental fan on the on a two point board, you know, and then keep trouble. This uh, uh XG keep on the right here? Yeah. Oh it says big take. Yeah, yeah. Big, big, big double take. big take. Okay. Oh. Now he says, All yeah. right, I'm going to hit two. Oh. I would as well. Did Ryan fan with a one six? He fanned with a one six, but oh, now, brutal. now he is anti fan with. It's back with five blots around. Yeah, That's he's got good. right. He says, "I don't care about about five on the twenty three point. I want to put that guy on the bar." Three six is going to try to hit and escape and one more time. Well, no I'm outfield still, presence now. I, I still have seventeen. Really needs wow. three. Wow. Nineteen any numbers. Ooh. The fatal lozenge appears again. He says, "Hardy har." I've I've now. Uh, no, you can play like a wimp and you can play, uh, take the, uh, 12 point or play like a, play like a He-Man and put a builder on the nine point and leave him four return shots only. There's two of those four. Big now it's like, oh, darn, oh. darn, I don't hit, I don't hit the return shot. And Ryan, Ryan says, now I'm going to hit and pull double threes. Just for ha ha's, and now there's a very ugly double six. Oof. Now really he's probably going to dump on the one. Avoid leaving the direct shot, okay. But he might, he says, no, I'm going to keep my checkers in play. And he says, well, maybe I'm not. Well, maybe I am. Better, yeah. Anyway, I keep those checkers in play. Nice fire. And he Ace says, is oh, great. he says, well, all right, I'll hit. You know, he's increased his chances for an advanced anchor right away. And in parlays as well. A double <laughs> anchor. That yeah, would be advanced. And he says, all right, double anchor this. Yeah, does he have to hit again? 
Equal boards, Come I guess in. he's got to go for it. Because I really like to roll level fives. Feels like his... again, and now probably too good. Now Neil is on the backgammon fry. He can cover 20, 21 to five. There we go. Wow, that one gets there. Okay. Otherwise, I guess we we're gonna make the four, but that must be better, of course. You have some. You had to make some. Four. Yeah. Can yeah, that possibly that's be that's right? Really good. Oh, wow, back huge entry. The mad backing genius is on, is is live. And it's just not a cube now. Yeah. There's the man. Andy cracks already. And I uh, Joker genius. Yeah. Kind of crack. yeah, I mean all but uh, five fourths available. He should, I suppose he should not. He should. He should not bury uh, four checkers. Maybe. Well, these two are fours. He might play uh, ten to six and seven to three. Oh yeah, he got. He has to leave. He has to leave direct shot. Double direct shot, no matter what he does. Yeah. No, he's like a single direct shot. It goes seven to three, seven to three, five to one. What a silly game we play. But seven to three, five. In other words, if he lifts the blots on the red points or the orange points, yeah. Then he can. Yeah. Yeah. yeah someone who just shots. started playing last year definitely come out to Cleveland. To if novice divisions, you can meet people. You can spectate the, with us there. Another, another anti joker. He says, if you roll an anti joker double four, so will I. Now, if he gets a three and a one, one. Listen to the chemistry on this game. Plus it's with, plus it's a three, four or something. Oh my god. Yep, and now he says, well, I could, I could clear that stinking eight point and let it me. Right. Now it seems like a nice time. I could play I in. Now, what are the, what are the horrid, horrid numbers? The horrid, horrid numbers would be four, five, four would be. Eight, yeah, eight or eight, eight, um, eight, 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 five, six, one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's it's on. I keep volunteers instead. The speed, but but um, I'm really not sure. What it was. I guess it blocks. It blocks better. That's probably a key factor. The fact that you block, you block. For us, come in six off. You off the gammon. Twenty-three point is probably. Correct. No two. Ryan could have so used that. That's probably why. Not Seems to be the first mistake of the match, too. 5 3, I think, just playing safe. Oh, now Neil is up to a whopping 1.48. Ryan has Ryan made apparently what actually says is a tiny mistake. Or he's up to 0 0.06 PR for the match. That would be something 0 0.06 PR in a longer match. Yeah, two can get some extra shots, so that's important. And any six he likes. Yeah, really. he might. He might actually make that four point if he, there's a. Everyone gets it clear. I I don't. I don't know. I think it. It ought to be the whole. It ought to be the summary. It ought to be the whole. This thing. is first game of the match. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, yeah. It's the. It's the game and the match. Yeah. The answer. This one. In this case, yeah. <laughs> in general, it wouldn't be. <laughs> in general, it's wow. summary. Big shot for he Neil says, right, point I'm safely. Win, so I'm gonna win a backhand one. Ryan says, no, Maybe not. you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> he, says, uh, he says, I'm even. I'm so afraid of the backhammer that I'm going to break, to nine blocks I'm gonna break that thing. I'm considering going to play in Cleveland, too. So maybe I'll see you there. 2-1, be damned. Oh, mistake is all right. Yeah. Off that, the was, yeah, that was a mistake, I guess. I guess he could save backhammer decisions for all. Neil had some, enough checkers on the board that he wasn't risking. He's saving a 2-1, one, double-1 one joker to Knock them off the point, not the plot. How many checkers do they have? Four there, okay. Damn it. Neil is going up. And we think that he, if he, he, Four just, zero. If he just either wins the match or wins the PR. Gammon on his own cube. I don't might, actually he think he has two match. PR points, though. I think that Ryan lost a lot of equity in the final game of the last one on the transcription. Um, on a lower ply, and it didn't really seem like there should be a big difference in all those plays. So, I don't know. It's possible, but I expect his PR to come down with plus plus. And if it does, and Neil's take was wrong, which it seems like, or, you know, or pass was wrong, it seems I would bet yeah, on so Ryan. He, well, he might, not, yeah, he might not have gotten a PR point last time. Yeah. So, he might, it might be, you're saying it might be two points to two points? I think it's probably two, two. Yeah. This is the third match. Sure it is. 
They, I guess they're, you can't even say they're tied. It's... They're tied in wins. I can't even say it's probably two two because I don't know what mistakes Ryan or Neil made in the first game. I don't. Do you have information about who won the PR in the first game? The first match. Yeah, the first match. The first match, um, Neil won by a lot. No, won... In the first match. Where where Maybe, did you where did you I, see I the file? I thought I saw zero point nine seven no. versus. That was just a game. All right. Okay. So that means. Where did you see that though, Marty? I saw it on the screen, but I perhaps what screen? Was not that purple screen showing the. Oh, action. we weren't. We didn't have land conscription on the first match, so so you didn't see it there. Maybe I saw. Maybe it was something else. <laughs> maybe maybe it was a summary. I thought Neil in a play on okay. situation. Okay, I don't know. Go to Crawford. So, so yeah, I don't think we know at all. Well, I guess we don't know. I, I thought I knew something, but I don't. <laughs> so, so yes we are now if i go to be in cleveland i'm playing the BMW. okay here. i'm and down just say, you're I'm buying my entry state. right dimitri i'm gonna cover more outfield territory if i go to the 14th <laughs> and if he rolls a <laughs> double fives is, is pretty juicy now he says should i should i make the 18 point he says yes i yes i doggone well should he's probably going to play to have a spare on the eight. that's reasonable yeah not Went from too sure good to not really having a cube again. We've seen a lot of that here. But yeah, he's, he just says, I'm going to get out, and I don't care about duplication, and he's perfectly right, I believe. Comes up to the edge. You're here yeah, first. Just, Dimitri has a conflict of interest. Two. Okay. No Acceptable to me. With no hit. Or he could go. Yeah, five point boards are to be respected. He could uh, do the direct shot so he could not to. Seems like Ooh. it was in error territory and not a blunder, though. Fours I can get all the way around. Comes around to the 10 point. Yep. No, 22 to 18 and 13 9. Oh, three. oh 39 twice looks pretty good, yeah, because it doesn't. There aren't all that many hit. All covers. three of them stay on the 18. That's really interesting, I guess, because, yeah, because of the lack of hidden well, covers. He clears, okay. he clears the midpoint. Yeah, clearing it's the midpoint is pretty guess. huge. But you should just take that opportunity uh, yeah, now. Uh, Very yeah, interesting. I, I, guess, I guess he's. Ryan's board is weak enough that he ought to. He's, he's certainly considering it. You know, That's he a made big it play. Long, but he says, "All right, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave fewer shots, and maybe I can make the end point or something." Oh, that was a Three six shot. is a beauty. He says, "All right, I'm going to hit you anyway." All right, Gammon's and back Ryan on says, for Neil. Well, I'm going to hit you back now. Boom. Two three two one two six. Five three from the bars. So Right, so shall, I, shall I double or shall I play? I think, I mean, he's just going to be too good as soon as things work out here uh, often. Yeah, making the eight very strong here. Interacts yeah. great with that open deuce. He didn't want to, he didn't want to leave, leave too many shots by advancing. <laughs> advancing them didn't gain all that much. Now he's free to, uh, free to advance, I guess. Especially if it goes up all the way to play. <laughs> you better play to win. Yeah, you're getting pounced on anyway, yeah, probably losing a gammon right. either way. So. Playing to win yeah. is putting him on the bar, and hoping he does not get return hit like that. And if, if return hit, he hopes he can anchor on the That'll 20, save a lot of 23 point, preferably with the double two. But now, now Neil is playing for the phone. Now he can switch to the... It doesn't need to make the six to win the gammon. He, do, he does not, yeah. And he, he, he wants can, to stay back he and can, keep pressure on the extra he can block play, too for but he just moves he, instead he, of it. Um, uh, it's legitimate, I guess. It's, I mean, he could he could have made more. He he could have uh, could have done more. He could have had, maintained a shot at the seventeen point. And passes. He's going to win a lot of gammons here. He just wants to he wants to be simple. Find it. Six right. around and three in. Double sixes doesn't hit, yeah. so that's just clear. Sure. Now we've got. Got a good situation here. He wins. Oh, darn. He has to leave some shots from the bar. I don't think it's worth hitting. Wow, it's very close, though. Okay, I wouldn't have thought of that. Well, it's a few close more gammons. Because, you know, you, 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 he, five now. he comes in, he might save a few gammons. But I guess you want to leave. Um, this is only four shots. So. And that, then there's the then there's the two point prime in front of him. One, two, so three, five, two, there one, are five three. numbers no, that one, three, do not five. get by. Five four is off, okay. Ryan trying to race off the gammon now. That'd be tough. 
two, four, six, twelve, fourteen. Especially 15. now. Yeah. I roll. And oh, oh, he could have. Well, two he crossovers. I think two important. crossovers is when you're way behind. Crossovers tend to have more importance than a gammon save attempt. Saving the backgammon decision in case it matters. Uh, That's legitimate. He made a better yeah. crossover. Allowed to make a better crossover. We're out two down. Okay. Yeah. That's no, he, there's a tiny chance he can save the gammon. He rolls two ones in a row. Yep. Nope. You get two double oh, oh, ace double sixes, ace double sixes, or something like that. <laughs> but he didn't get it. Twelve point three four. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's 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 not a very good PR. On the on the on the bottom right down there, we can see the summary of the match. Three one open. So far, Neil he's got start in the So far, game. Ryan's virtually perfect. Three. Can Neil split. is almost perfect. Two nine three is very good. Look like for five. Five two. I guess is splitting now. Five point zero is free. He goes from the tempo to disconnect and stuff. Though. Okay, that's probably good here. And too. I, I, yeah, I, I, and I guess so, sometimes time. sometimes when you're a big Four's underdog, you have easy decisions bar. too. You're like play it, play a play a low anchor game and like make your board efficiently. Or two it's gets to hit back. To okay, do. nice shot for Neil. Now the PR has gone down. Three six to is gonna hit there. Zero point three two. Ten to four for Ryan. And Neil is Neil's PR is about to It's back from the bar for Neil, so and now Neil is going down as well. The, the kibitzers are screaming for blood. As usual. Anchor and I guess. I don't know what to do with this. This Give is weird. Yours. Just splits. Okay, with three back. Yeah, this is our opportunity. That's an the interesting play. On the first syllable Wants whatever. to make something happen it's in slots or in GMP. Or Understandable. That was my first instinct, too. Even though it's a triple Keep shot, a lot from the you got to win somehow. Six five probably just links up with the 11. Or it can make an outfield landing point. Sure, sure. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he likes this is safer and whatever. And he's... Six two if covers. He Ryan's outside, happy about his slot now. Also cover. This is. This is pretty nice here for Neil. Still, two one links up and makes the eleven outfield beautiful. Control. Ryan is going to. Uh, well, now he's got little choice but to hit. Mm -hmm. Take it. Take a tempo. He might end up with a double anchor. Neil says, "Go do your worst. I'm going to make a double anchor. <laughs> I'm not going to leave you any fly shots." And Ryan says, "Who on you?" No, I don't. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm just fantasizing about what they might be saying. It's just you know. It's just. I'm just. Marty's actually asleep right now. I don't know if you yeah. guys knew that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's <laughs> twice. <laughs> 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 Five point zero. The Stooges. The double hit looks alive. worth quite a bit here. Yep, double hit. The Stooges agree. Takes a chance just to win. I want to uh, be well, it's an overplay there, though. Okay. At DMP, I guess. Fine. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. It's just... A, it seems like the easy path. To the victory. instinctive play is to, like, try to deny him the double anchor. Yep. Yeah, he now, he, now, he's, anchor now, now he's way up to 109. Ryan. He's barely it. human. Yeah, he's... 109 is 109 is Messerschmitt, right? Okay, simple game for Neil ahead in the race, just trying to run here. 107. Now he's going. He's getting down. He's going in the right direction. And I guess Ryan's just going to hit from the mid here. I don't know what options he has here. Oh, he can come off one of the anchors. Okay, he shouldn't play the back game. Is better. They're all so close. Very interesting. Yeah, the race is close enough. Okay, he must have like something to know that or just sees it visually. Uh, um... Six three is going to hit. Great shot for Neil. I think he wants a board point here. Oh, he can hit somehow. Okay. Yeah, now, <laughs> the, weird now the race is getting getting within reach. He says, all right, race, I will set you back. Race They're both back. making it as hard on Rory as possible. <laughs> See, keep up with this transcriber. <laughs> Five out for mobility. What we're, what, we're, what we're trying to do is bust Rory's chops. Yeah. 
all these little comments and everything though it's all it's all anti rory <laughs> what does this do it can make the 10 point maybe we want to keep the 16 though so i guess i don't know there's just no safe then play what, here then what do you do do you go uh I guess this reduces shot out, somewhat and challenge the one by going Yeah, out. I like this in the end. Lift, uh, the break from the midpoint, he would with it. Right, right. Just out of here. Yeah, I it's think so too. Uh, and he says, "No, no, this is this is okay too." <laughs> I played the six you put a, five, put a yeah. break the ten and put a builder on the five. It's <laughs> it's all very difficult yeah. stuff to play, yeah, right? Stuff to play zero, didn't you? Now he just makes the bar. Oh, he, he probably will. Oh, well, he no, wants to. He, oh, he could have made a nice four point five. Right Came right to me. Well, and gets a fan out of it. That's pretty huge. Neil could have shooed the head and made a. Uh, made Prevents a, the second uh, anchor on the ace for now. Solid four prime, and now. Now you know he's he's he now he needs he needs more now an attacking game plan it requires more uh, weight because. Like this, he's got to needs to prevent the second can't anchor. prime as well anymore with checkers out of play, and he might win just by brute force cover and followed by escape. My one can't cover. That's though. not a cover. Well, I could switch. To the, Switching could switch has more to the four covers, point, but coming out to the eighteen looks choke. pretty strong. Yeah, coming out well, come out well, the coming out is good. I agree. I actually don't hate the switch though, because you can cover sixteen to eleven, and that all looks yeah, like it acts very but, nice but, together. Yeah, but then what? But that yeah, then what do you go sixteen eleven? You don't want two guys back there. I, I would I would rather um yeah I would rather do this I wouldn't I would this is the hedge your bets play who fours is huge and he said hedge these vets and he hits the second he one hits these. he would have had a second one in any case no well not with double fours with double fives yeah I I'm trying to think about <laughs> hypothetical things that could have happened and how many numbers were associated with them better shut up one of these years <laughs> Ryan makes a better board and thinks about his other two and he says can I hit anything he's played 22 to 7 is blocked by the 8 point yeah he just and he says just has to be moving. Yeah, okay. think about that yeah so, so the, the the best four point board is called called the barrel I guess I don't know six five four Something. three nice. The six one is nice. Huge shot. The four two is acceptable. You can go out to the sixteen, or he could go. Maybe he leaves that shot. You could go twenty two eighteen. I like this making the twelve instead. The sixteen, you can make the twelve. Doesn't leave any direct contact with the sixteen or any direct shots from there. I don't know why he wants to give that up. You know. That is so switching that is to 14, interesting, but, but he does leave some indirects, and he he would and getting hit by an indirect will be put a second checker back. Those are all argument, but well, the twelve is a, nice a landing Ryan. spot. Very nice play. He doesn't have too many points. Six just going to hop points. out, I think. Uh, yeah, so now he does. He does not want to hit with that six three. He wants to scary. hop out. Would rather race. Yeah. Pop out and uh, race or hold. That's a, that's a very good. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful uh, <laughs> race or hold, Not baby. Cool. Now Ryan says, "Shall I? Shall I race?" He probably doesn't know the count is one ten for himself. And Neil says, "I will also race." Uh, still down in the race, so he needs to keep some contact here. Maybe it's better to just make the four. One third. I don't know. You don't have to count it, Marty. It's on the screen. It's on the screen, Marty. Where? On the bottom and the top of the board. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just like to show off my when I when I make counting mistakes. Just like to say numbers. I know. I. The world is a carousel of numbers. My world. My life is circumscribed to try to play the by now. powers of six. I guess actually playing out to the 12 is fine too. I'm tempted. My first instinct is to attack. I don't know though. Contains race? well. It's on the screen at the top and bottom of the board. 104, 113. So I, I don't have to. I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, chat. 
Four, yeah, I, I didn't I notice chaos. those. I, I thought you were counting really quickly, Nick. <laughs> Marty has played the, or sorry, I see Rory's played the four on the board, so the, that adjusts the pip count up there. But goes for the attacking play, well found. Neil plays for it all, gets a fan, and now he's in a. Yeah, great I, 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 losing a gammon doesn't hurt him much more than losing a single one. That's covers. a score, obviously. So. And a two six of the bar, no. Uh, sixes and closes. double sixes closes. Six, six four, four also closes. Good. Neil Azaros wow. does not fool around. Lights out, but that's going to lock up the PR win for uh, Ryan as well. And so we'll have to see yeah. on rollout decisions. So, I... yeah, Neil actually should throw the game. And... No, he, he wants the one. <laughs> <laughs> he can throw, but throwing the game would be a, be a big PR loss for him. 3 1, he's scared of aces cracking, I'm guessing, huh? Okay. Oh, a little bit worse. Five if he lets, yeah, exactly. Yeah, throw, find a way to throw the game and then accidentally, Three, accidentally throw the game. In other words, not make mistakes, but give yourself some funny numbers. <laughs> or not make many mistakes, put it that way. Who in the chat's been watching Stream B? I haven't been keeping an eye on it. it looks like all the matches are done. I don't know who won. I'm excited to get updates on that and find out what the finals are tomorrow. Well, yeah, I don't know how you wouldn't hurt. You'd have to hurt your PR, but only by a little. And then and then lose and then get more decisions and then hope that... Do you have transcripts of the game? I've never pulled that off. I've never even tried. Because yeah. I don't know what the PRs are typically in real time, you know. How how do I think I'm playing? Well, I don't really know. Ryan gets the roll. Oh, they haven't started yet. Oh, are we going to get to see it? Cool. Oh, I'm hearing that we're going to get to watch all of match three of John versus Dana. I'll see if I can get an update of where that one lies after this match, too. Actually, I'll go start talking to him now since this is fairly wrapped up. See if we can start to get some results. Okay, I'll be Ryan, right back. Ryan is still trying to win this game. We should switch over to the Ray Fogarty. Started the, starting with double sixes, and he gives up. <laughs> what a quitter! He gives up this one. How do they switch it over to Ray Fogarty? They just um, pull a wire, to pull a connector out, and put it in somewhere else. I guess whatever. Yeah, yeah, Nick was saying that he thought X, XGR plus plus might reverse the, the ranking. Yeah, Neil doesn't have to find any or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We think so. Well, no, I thought so. I thought so, but then people were telling me that the numbers that I saw that I thought indicated the PRs for the match were not were not that way. I don't know. So there, there, something just came on the screen, for example, now, and what is this? Oh, this is a cube decision. That was a cube. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. All right, we got the third match of yeah, John yeah, versus Dan going. Yeah. We don't know the PR results, but they both won one game, so they both have at least one point in the semifinals. So definitely so, requiring the third so match. So this is the third match. Now, it's possible they play four <laughs> matches, right? Or is it, do they only play three matches? Uh, it's best of three, best so of it's three, hard to get okay. to a fourth match, yeah. Okay. We could, just for fun, you could play a fourth one. Yeah. Meaning, a meaning I think Neil one. and Ryan played a fourth one before the first match, actually. Yeah, no, th this I match. believe is right to make the make the two inside points with that double four because if you make your five point, you only have a two point board and you still have a stack on your six point. This way, you have a three point board and and John might have to leave a, a shot and if you hit a shot, you know, in the outfield, so where then you. Uh, I don't You're have more happy to have a three-point board and keep them out. Yes, maybe six just comes out and we play really stacky with fifteen to thirteen and try to race. Or you can play. Board. Or you can play. You you could do that. This is a feels thematic. This is the blot minimization. And we're talking the, about stream B now. Too, against by the, the way. three-point board channel. Against the three-point board, that is a 
a darn good strategy to minimize nice blots. Work, he, Ryan. He could have he could have left it, uh, two blots, but he he didn't. Okay, Three so now cleans up. I, I, oh, here we go. Now this, this is simple. Here. Now I will I will assert that John has got 145 pips. And I will assert that not John. Uh, 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 yeah, John White. And I'll assert that Black has got um, fewer than that. One thirty-two and one thirty-seven. It should be one thirty-two to one thirty-seven in in Dana's favor right now. But what's going on? Oh, they're talking about some something. Maybe they're trying to catch up on the transcription if they can get it or something like that. I'm not sure. I doubt it. Ryan Rebello has asserted that. Dana Zarian resembles the actor Bob Odenkirk. They're not sure if maybe you made an illegal play. But I don't. I, I don't think so. Yeah, they're yeah back to back now, and he's um. They're talking about something. So he rolled, rolled six three. He rolled six three from from the uh, midpoint. I think he played thirteen to four. I thought that, I thought that's what he did. He rolled three two. Eighteen to thirteen, and then he rolled six three. And now. Now, are they talking about Dana's move or John's? Or he's talking about John's. He, he's not sure he played it legally. I think, yeah, it sure looks like they're trying to spell out the match for a transcriber. Oh yeah, I, I see. They're not disputing with each other. They're they're just they're just um, telling the transcriber what happened. I don't know. Could just rewind the channel a little bit. I don't Tara's know. Tara's going to have to doing. switch up the scene too, but it looks like maybe she's going to do that for us. I don't know. Or maybe they're just doing this to get results faster. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe the chat actually has inside info since they can hear the microphones too. Is that what they're talking about, Reese? We got 88 watching. Less people on it late at night. We get our peaks in the middle of the day. Got it. Good info. Oh, now it's now it's on both streams. That's correct. Taking a short break to catch up on transcription, I guess. I don't know. So much fun when backgammon players can just remember the game from memory. Thanks, Reese. Yep. Yeah, 132, 136 is what I have, too. And, yeah, that must mean that we're getting a live transcription. I don't know if that means it's going to be on the feed since uh, Tara has a different layout for this stream B. So maybe we won't get to see it, but at least they'll get to have a live transcription. Fine. I guess it helps when we can see what XG thinks in real time. That's yeah, of course. That is really illuminating. Mm -hmm. And now they've agreed that this is legal. And now uh, Dana wants to think about the three two. Dana, Dana is. Uh, Are they still catching up? Doesn't look like they're playing yet. He's a few pips ahead in the race. Wow, those three matches went super quick. They got those done in two hours, and we had it scheduled. Now, for now I see no pip count on the screen anymore. Right, none of the XG stuff is on the screen. Oh, okay, no XG stuff, and this uh, there's a double double right. six on the screen. <laughs> that could nearly win the game for John. I one, guess one twelve, one twelve for. Uh, yeah, no, one, no, I think I don't think I don't think Dana does anymore. White is one twelve, um, one sixteen for. Uh, is that right 36 39 43 50 90 116 112 112 for 112 to 116 for, <laughs> now we go seven to one four to three probably <laughs> yeah bonus commentary well i don't know why you're talking about the golden point but cool that is backgammon terminology indeed 
Yeah, well, the golden point historically means the 20 anchor. And, and, um, look what you did, Bo. You know, and, <laughs> and Mark Olson, for example, there's a lot of people just say, well, any old five point is the golden point. It's the anchor, though, right? But it, it's, yeah, and, and Paul McGreal, Paul McGreal coined the term, as far as I know, and in his back, book Backgammon, and it was, it referred to the 20 point, a player's 20 point, the anchor. It didn't refer to the players on five point. So he holds off on the cube. Seems reasonable. I think the he play, yeah, he, he, play, he played eight to two, four to three instead of uh, what I thought seven to one, four to three. And now the board is ready. And now the six to two comes for the unstacking of the six. Five to one, eleven, six. And 10. he says, all right, so I he, he might, he might. He might pay off to 1-1 one, one, and 1-2, one, or he might not. He shouldn't. He doesn't. I guess he says it's, it's ridiculous <laughs> to pay off to 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. Okay, sixes wins. Easy game. Yeah, and now he's, he says, all right, I'm going to... I don't want to clear that point because... I don't think sixes are good enough to stay in the game. Uh... Yeah, he's got a blot number, double, yeah, double six. Use your whole bag, get the bluff in. Sure, sure. Okay, stream two has gone Thank away. Stream really one sure is our only. Dana needs to pass this before the cube hits the board. Yep, there we go. Well done. Well, we get XG on the other screen there, Sharon. Okay, oh, boy. Oh, the now, screen, okay, we now see we can really yeah, see yeah, stuff. Yeah. So now we got John, a running PR after game, after game one. Well, it's only after game one. Dane is at 1.04 and John O'Hagan's at 5.97. But these PRs have a way of quickly changing <laughs> because the, de the, the decisions are, the, the relatively few decisions have been made. So now we've got a 4-3 a down and a 6-4 run. It's legitimate to play, uh, to stop on the 18 point. It's, 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 uh, I like the 9 better than the 10. And the 9 is, the 9 is, Probably better than the tens. Fewer return shots, at least. It's, it's, it's a better place to make a. It's, it's, it's a broken out three prime. To eight looks pretty strong here. Uh, yeah, he could he try to come out too. and prevent his opponent. Prevent his, from yeah, divert against making the five. Right. He Bases says, "Aha! I will both. hit, and I will make the five. Now the only question is: Does he lift that lot, or does he? Go for the five prime. He probably should go for the five prime. Two I mean, one. He's... The twenty three point is maybe a nice place to anchor right now. But and as he soon says, as the covers, uh, not so much. Yeah, keeps coming anyway. I don't wanna... know if we can take. Let's see if you want to take this. This one looks like without... a lot of progress without any development up done front. for John. Yeah. I see eleven checkers in the zone. Too. And John drops. Think wisely passes. Yeah. Ten in the zone. No eleven because the five point was on. Oh, the, no, the five point was made, so it was technically. Yeah, five two out to the bar with some. The, sort the of one on the eleven mistake. wasn't in the zone. I don't know if Rory showed us what the best play was. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I think probably counting in deep in. So now days John's good. PR has now gone down to five six four. Twos is a good response. But Dana's to, has uh, gone down to three one. Zero point seven two. Yeah, so that's a beautiful response, and he played it right according to XG. And now six four probably just wants to run. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have a great four if you if you don't. You want to stop on the 18 point. This is a strange 6 3 to have to play. He could. Or he decides that he's just playing to the four point, and I think he's right. Don't yeah, he's not. Yeah, he could, he could butterfly away, but then he, it's not yeah. that easy to escape the, the range. Ryan one. would slot it. Where's Ryan when you need him? Ryan would double slot. No. Oh, seven fix, five. Uh, this was a small mistake. Or he's got a hint us. I don't know what he should have done. I didn't get to see it. I, well, wow. It's. All right, thirteen to four. Yeah, it's a green, so small, right, right, right. smallish mistake. Yeah, yeah, I would tempted to play, play what what uh, what Dana played. <laughs> I don't know. Too difficult a game. Six one's a little awkward. Maybe he's. Ooh, I don't know what to do. I think thirteen to six looks better than stacking up the five to me. And I don't really want to touch the back checker, so probably something like that. 
13 to 6 seems to have been a small mistake. I don't know what's better. You could have gone 11 to 5 and found a 1 somewhere. 6 4 gets to make the bar now, though. This looks pretty strong. Running, running might work out, but you know that's you, if you got hit, you're really unhappy. Gonna make some progress with that three-one. Nice shot there. Oh, Six-five runs for John. a joker. And probably wins the game, but I guess there's still work to do. Twenty-two point anchor. Maybe you can still take. XG says that six-five was a really good roll. It has a yellow smiley face icon on the on the SG screen. And 22, 11 pips in this race too. Yeah, it seems. Yeah, 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 ooh, yeah. That's a tough one. Now it's gone down Plus, to six. Yeah, so I don't see him getting dinged for the cube there, but so maybe he's right. Seems very close though. I guess he's going to have a hard time filling in the four point, which well, is well, going to get Dana yeah, better yeah, contact I mean, than a, usual. A, a, in better positions like that with okay, a similar pip down. count yeah it's like if he had the four point he could still yeah. be taking if the pip count were the this same this looks like uh now that he loses the midpoint too i think the cube will be coming now that he's also threatening to make the five point and kind of win the game that way i think that's going to be too much now now um i think dana's thinking shall i run away yeah, I know you guys can't see the XG analysis. Sorry about that. It's just the layout on that because it's stream B. So yeah, so so oh, XG wow. is saying twenty two to thirteen is right. And mm -hmm. I, I can see how because you know, what's his game plan? The butterfly anchor. Michi knows this, but that's so scary, yeah. And and you know, he's not a favorite to point on head. And that a lot of them pointing on head is are duplicated with making the four point. An analysis showed that it must be a clear take either way too afterward. I uh, yeah, I, I would, I would, I would expect yeah. so. He would have gone safely to the midpoint, and his main problem would then be to I guess checker. making the nine probably makes sure you can cash this game a little more efficiently. Yeah, I like this, yeah. You, you can block the double sixes for sure. Yeah. And then you can you can uh, put the question to the result. Uh, okay, Mr. we Zarian. match wins of the first two matches. Both think, have won one game. Have killed, killed sixes with that 4 1. Here buddy. comes the cube from John. I don't know what the PR results were, though. We don't know what the PR results are on either side. And, uh, Dana, on Dana must, must know this by heart. And Neil says, har har, he made the, he made the four point. Uh, small error to take there. 31, it says. But uh, I don't know what a level analysis that's on. Now, again, he could kill a six if he wanted to. Dana could have. He could have brought both checkers in, and so he, his sixes now his sixes wouldn't wouldn't break his board as quickly. That's about it. this equivalent, maybe. Yeah, he's just gonna do this. Keep the four point board in case he has to go out <laughs> next turn, and he might have to go out with any five. Opportunity to crack him and win a gammon. Yeah, not a lot even if he runs. He can roll five one, I guess. Or you could keep the keep the anchor in a six four as a blot number. No, he says, "Shall I blot back there. shall I clear my seven point?" And he says, "No way. I'm going to keep the blockade." Where six four to cracker as a result would have been forced to run otherwise. Yeah, he would have been probably happy to run. We one I think should slot the ace now. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I'm a I am in favor of. In a lot of positions like this, I'm in favor of keeping the prime. Keeping that broken five prime. Makes the follow-up after Dana runs with the five a little bit more difficult with the blot behind, but should be fine. It's fewer immediate blot numbers. I don't understand why Rory hates us and doesn't hint the... Only 6-4 is a blot number. And now you could just clear, much clearer the nine point thinking maybe you should clear the seven point but i would i, yeah, I think like it, i think his racing chances are still pretty good but the the, the advantage of, of clearing the yeah. seven is that you know he's he, only had seven he might have to come to he might That's have to idea. come he might have to come out in other words if you keep the nine point there are numbers where uh dana must break the 22 anchor but not like five two and uh five two and or in four two and four one would would 
would break the anchor and leave two blots vulnerable if Neil broke the seven instead of the nine. But he chooses to break the nine, which looks it looks more natural because it's uh and this is this is probably equivalent, you know, because now he can he's got good attacking numbers. It's better. It's better actually this way because he can uh he can keep a four prime and he can attack him. Uh, I believe I w that's what I'm thinking of doing because you can lose a few races if you just come in. And he says, I'm not, am I losing a few races or am I not? How many am I losing? Yeah. I got to see this over by Rory when I asked him to hint for and us. The, has to and the, for oh, and now the, the bot says, the bot says to attack. Yeah, the race is really close. He's only five pips ahead, and oh, yeah. it's only five raw ahead. So yeah, so you got to attack. Yeah. Even even getting even getting hit is not fatal necessarily. I mean, mm -hmm. even if he hits and comes out, and you immediately enter, you've got chances. To, I think getting hits hit the best something. way to win a gammon, probably. Yeah, it's yeah you you don't you don't want to be hit. <laughs> There's another way to win a gammon, which is attack. That's way get harder. missed. Close your board. Six pips outside. Less than ten percent. Yeah, less than ten percent, but it's something. Yeah, I think John will find this. One, I think he knows this kind of idea. He's trying so to remember where this started. He doesn't yeah. remember how he played. Yeah, one on the, the one on the four and one on the they're, two. They're on the yeah. bar point. Those two. One shots. on the four and one on the two go to the bar point. He's forgotten. No, 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 no. Nee, 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 nee. Wrong again. Yeah, this does not have the same option. Should we go tell him about legal plays or not? Yeah, we can, we can, they, all right, so, so now the, it's those two, now, yeah, yeah. so, so Dana, Dana knows, yeah, that's right. So they reset the, they, they reset to the original position. Yeah. Why check their shuffling and, uh, can't be allowed? Neil, Neil's illegal. clock is still advancing, so now he says, all right, I'm not going <laughs> to, now he's going to really keep them above the, above the other checkers on those points to indicate that those are ones he's, He's moved and is considering the play. That's protocol, you know. You keep you don't if you're moving checkers, you're setting up a board to look at a move, you should <laughs> you should put your checkers um threes. put your checkers sort of high on the point, not next to the other checkers on the point, so you know which ones to move back if you have to reset it. Or you could just imagine. You could that could you, be like the new thing and you could just not move checkers around. Imagine there's no yeah that's what I try to do is usually on the twelve point that I definitely nice. hit for sure. Well, well, Xy's is saying it's a it's pretty clear to hit. I'd hit it anyway. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, whole thing yeah. from here. So it's just clear, safe, or attack is the question, Dennis. And we do have the XG feed over on the yeah, left screen. Uh, it's it's point oh four nine <laughs> worse to make bring two in than. You're scared of losing the race. You'll win. You'll lose sometimes after being hit, but not all the time. And you'll win a huge proportion if he fans. Not a hundred percent, but getting close. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. But Neil is Neil relatively says, close like, and difficult to calculate. Shot. So that's a. So he takes a Pihara hit there. So small difference in wins, but there are like five percent extra games that he gets. So there's the no no blot numbers for six two Neil, has to run so for he sure. better he probably he probably should go to the ten point. Neil. Yeah, Neil's yeah, black. Point. Black Dana should go to the ten point. And Neil has Neil's white and John O'Hagan's white. No, no, John O'Hagan, yeah, I forgot. They're they're all the same in my mind. <laughs> These good players that they're you combine their names like Marty and Rory combined is Morty or or yeah. Rarty, or, you know. I thought you said all the good players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory and Marty are sitting here, and they, those guys are playing in the semifinals. <laughs> Rory guys didn't even play in the in the VMAP thing. Yeah, UBC. UBC is the name. UBC. Of that. Close it's got BMAB. BMAB. Uh, parameters to it uh no the nothing ultimate, to do with bmap <laughs> bmap parameters in other words in other words you're evaluating decisions much the same as 
Back on Mesh's warding body does. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's what I really mean. It's got to do with PR. PR, XG. Yeah. One point for a PR win. <laughs> P mob. <laughs> oh, is that how to pronounce it, Dimitri? For real? Do you think that? Definitely B map. It'd be like the Spanish way to pronounce it. Yeah. Oh, this this is you know, Neil's a big favorite, right? How many checkers are over there on that ace point? Is it only six? Looks like it. Six checkers. There's a. He's got eight. Yeah. So a couple Neil's, sets. Uh, if he rolls one set, goal. one set would be great for uh, Dana, obviously, because there are a lot of misses for Neil. That's not a set. You can still do it just one. But two one would be bad for Neil. Three two is semi for John, all, you semi mean? all right. <laughs> Whatever his name is. I can only see his hand, you know, and he's he obviously got the John O'Hagan uh the John o, what is it called? The uh, blazer, the John O'Hagan blazer. All right. No cube action okay. necessary, most likely. Name shame. I don't you know, it's just <laughs> All right, two points for Dana. The tall guy, the tallish guy. Neil O'Hagan, is that the guy's name? The raw pip count. Um, five pips. Yeah, five. Yeah, the raw pip, the raw pip count. Was the the gonna, Keith uh, count would oh, have been different. he's down in the match, so maybe he could just play two down. But I guess he splits instead. Fine, fine. Joe Sylvester is of the opinion that you should start to play aggressively as soon as you get a little bit behind in the match. And Five XG would consider it hyper aggressively. Now this is this is a good one. You can play uh you can play twenty one to sixteen and six to five legitimately. Okay, yeah. This seems to be a challenge. Play like with two blocks. You could play like thirteen. This you is like thirteen eight and six five even as Oh good. duplicates fours. That's a fun play. Yeah, it's it's really juicy when it works. Um now is it better to hit or make the five point? I believe hit. Yeah, we definitely take advantage in the race when my opponent might just make the five and we just equalize out with them. And they've escaped checkers and we haven't. Yeah, yeah so we gotta go he's for got it. a stronger board. He's got a two-point yeah. board versus one-point board. Already has a better board. Yeah. That 5-3 is not chicken feed. Double fours. That, now, this is probably a double hit for tempo. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of good options, though. It could link up on the 16, too. Yeah, I... Just seems too strong to keep off the five point. When I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. No, when I was a lad, people would <laughs> people would make that double hit like instantly. Like three makes a five point, beautiful <laughs> shot. With a double four like that, instant <laughs> double hit. <laughs> Back in the seventies. Four six. When Not we many all options the here. Good play with four six. Hit and cover. John's so certain he covers first. And there could be some gammons in a game like this, but a little bit more work, I think, for John to get a cube in. Ooh, on a fan, I'm not so sure, but probably rolling still. Lots of to move around. He's got such a nice structure. A yeah, now he can, he can say, all right, where's my last six? He says, uh, racing is such a good game plan, I'm not going to waste Or is there some duplication from not there? not going to waste any any numbers. of outside motion, and I'm going to keep a four for him. I guess since he hasn't been able to get off his bar point, it's not like a clear cube here still. Yeah, and Dana improves his board. Yeah. I think there's nothing better than that. He has to play a 23 anyway, 63. All right, and John one more says, block all right, I'll wait for my inevitable doubles. They're my point. And Dana says, ha ha, I'll escape my star checker. And John says, I will not move too far forward too fast. Even given that I failed to roll doubles. And Dana says, I will not leave a direct shot. I will put an ugly four down there. And John says, how many, how many ways shall I hit thee? Or shall I do so? Sixteen returns, not by no means failed. It's one of them. Uh, 
And John says, all right, I better fan. With three checkers behind, he doesn't have anything, but threatening a lot of gammon, so he does still have to think about it. After that's, the a, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful joker, right? Fan, fan, and he hit enters, cover. I think we have a reasonable hit, cube. Fan, hit cover. I think even at this score, the cube should be coming in. Uh, with three back, I don't think he can be too good. Only nine in the zone, too, but I think we're threatening enough to cash. With, with two on the, oh, we are too two good on here, the yeah. bar. Wow, that's fine. Might be too good. Yeah, was, is that what actually says? 1.116. 1. 1. 1. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah it's, it's too good by a lot. Yeah, because he can't. Yeah, I guess he's not going to enter an anchor anyway. He can always actually cash it says later. It's, by, it's a blunder. Technical to, thing. Blunder yeah. to cash. Yeah. 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 You, Fair you, point. Yeah, just, you yeah. probably must cash. Just no market so gainers. Many, yeah. Probably. Yeah, exactly. The girl's a four ace and taken four four first thought. You gotta take some chance to play on, right? You can't just always win a gammon or something. Never lose and always win a gammon. He's got twenty you know, the estimates of of a uh, of winning chances after no double for uh, White, for, for uh, John O'Hagan, not Neil Kazaras, are 24.35%, but by waiting, uh, Dana supposedly wins over 40% gammons, or backgammons, tiny amount of backgammons. So 41% encompasses so backgammons too. and gammons. That, that's a uh missed the cube in this position okay okay no it's, it's not it's, 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 it's not assuming he never doubles good stuff here it's, it's assuming that and he decides to cash it's assuming that uh but john might still take this if there's any chance that john will play it then it's not too bad it's, but he's just gonna let it go yeah it's it's when you get to some Three critical there. juncture I forget what kind of maybe where, where cube is in play. You 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 estimate you 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 use evaluation numbers to estimate what the thing is worth. Rather play it out to the end. Five four trailing match goes yeah, like, 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 three away. Like, We're gonna play two you, down. Really that hurts. Those are those, those, are, those, those are uh, those are estimates of how threes. many gammons he will win, but they're not directly derived. Aces from the makes the they're prime. Not, they're not just. The, 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 there's a variance reduction process which involves, um, you know, Good response for Dana. Evaluation at some point. Can't I used to know all the details, but I forgot them. I the threes, them. I think, gonna clean up, but no, it just makes the bar no, point. That's okay, the okay. It. Yeah, it gets uh, it, it, unprimed it's, you're too. You're far less blockaded on the eighteen point six five hits. He says, "Har har." I better bring. bring he doesn't want to bring both out. Too. He wants to say, "Okay, I'll." Linking up seems a little bit better to, on the low play. He doesn't want to get hit outside. Three and five down. John looking to attack before Dana can he escape. He would have been hit with 12 numbers if he'd brought both. Six, six up. is hitting loose because it can't get the safety, I think. Well, it doesn't have a good last six if we do that, so maybe not. He might just go 10 to four three times and out. Yeah, that's probably our best. I don't, I don't see any other alternative. Looking to dodge a three. Well, I'll, do I'll dodge being pointed on and Dana's board. And yeah, away. that was a big threat to lose a Gavin being back there. So a big improvement to be able well, to escape. And Dana says, "Well, I will. I will really get a lead in the race." But Hard to I clear will, the midpoint here, though. I will. I don't lose think any cubes coming. Point, point, and I'll move forward really quickly. John says, "I'll build my board." Thank you. But I will not make my two point or something silly. I'll. Take, you said oh, a small cube here. Double okay. take score base cube. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's three -way. yeah, that's that's or not three -way surprising. Six -way. I was wondering. It's, it's not it's not surprising, but it, five it's probably four just by, comes off the bat. I think maybe he needs to well, save some sixes. Well, I don't know. yeah, I don't know. Um, eighty eighty three for for white. What does it say? Thought there? we should play from the mid. One thirty. What? But maybe he saved the six effectively by doing that. This? Someone doing one twenty one twenty seven. An eighty, okay, eighty-three. I see. <laughs> well, someone's probably sitting in there with them.
Rory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now we got we got a window into Rory's computer screen. Whatever machine he's got. I know how he ends up not making the four points there, but okay. Five two. Once again can get a checker home. It liked his five four saving uh six last time. Yeah, right? yeah, so right, right. That's that's thematic actually, not to Yeah. It's thematic to wait. Waiting, leaving the double shot. They, they, well, you you see, you you you're not if you're not forced to, you don't come in, you don't you, you delay, leaving a block with a, with six. So we can save a five four if you. Yeah, yeah this, this I would I would I would do this and then. And you, you know, the longer you have to have to wait for your doubles, the more likely you are to get them right. And then you might you might just come home and be uh six in freezing. the same position anyway, right? And John is happy to John's ready. Make his five point board. Now he says, All right, I don't wanna I don't want to lift both blots and totally trash my board. And now now John you know John John does not want to get rid of all the points. So and now he says, All right, shot. now I got a five point board and now my opponent has left the midpoint, so he's going to get only a single shot. Oh, giving up the mid was an error. I guess he probably should have left an ace up there because he'd rather be hit than let him oh, not have. Yeah, that, yeah, that was. Yeah, I guess. I guess with Something a Ryan six, missed with a six too. one. Yeah, with a six one, it's big, and with a other with numbers, eight, it doesn't four, matter. Eight, yeah, eight, I, eight, I thought eight, it wasn't right because it, he didn't have it, to hit with a one, but I guess he did have to hit with a six. Now John wants to think about the cube here, way down in the race when he misses. It's not doing so good. The XG feed and stuff. Um. Doesn't win so gammons when he hits either, so it seems like he'd rather hit and cash later. He has a costly Valuable two points to get to the the Crawford game too. How, how when he misses. Yeah, thirteen seven eight three. So does that necessarily make it a for black? If he... Well, I, I think I think he does. Who one can hit? Not enough to. And so I think Dana can right. cube from here, right? I mean, I guess he wouldn't have been the other way, but yeah, huge pass now. There's a there's well, about, claims and goes there's to two ways, six away. There's a percent chance to, for for White to hit. Mm -hmm. I would think so. There's, he's got a fifteen percent hitting chance, and he's got to win enough races at the other eighty five percent to make make it work. And he's yeah. he's three away. Yeah, and does it does he win does he win seven eighty fifths of the games where he twenty two percent less than seven eighty fifths if he win does he win uh what did I say fifteen fifteen percent in chance right and then then what and if he needs twenty two he needs to win seven seven eighty fifths of the times when he seven eighty fifths is less than ten percent. And that's a toughie. He can sometimes roll a boxcar immediately. Boxcar catches up half the pips. So that was a... So Dana seems to have caught up on the PR race. And, uh, you're saying the trailer only needed 22%? That... Is that factoring in? Is that based on the five one at a trailing score is going to slot? Yeah, you you did risk over risk plus gain. Match victory table. Are you just remembering it? Yeah. Four hits. He can come up with a two or come down and work on offense. Either way, seems fine. Nice of the score to establish an anchor and stepping up to the twenty one should help you do that. This is reasonable. What what is actually likes likes the double advance. Two one is going to attack on the high point now, and this is it's kind of where you like to make the to, high anchor. Uh, reasonable to come down with. Two one would have been hitting, okay, but we're going to split to the twenty two now. I think. I don't see why we want to introduce another blot in the outfield right now. I guess well, because he's you, slotted. Well, you, sure. you get an extra builder at a time yeah. when you have a lot of return shots. He hits. Yeah, and you did, and thirteen eleven duplicates hitting nines as well. Reasonable. 
One of which is double three hit cover. The only hit cover. We don't really love to be back on and the 24 said, when we said, have less well, checkers back says, and well, we're having the raids builder, here. Is the extra builder worth much, or is the racing extra racing equity of moving up in the board worth more? So the so the the bot says splitting is 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 a good deal better than not. Better than the eleven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the eleven is oh six nine behind, and so twenty two. Twenty two is um. Twenty bar to twenty two was was I right. Think the one and, that leaves and, and bar to twenty three ten to nine yeah, is so about. But the he same. could also keep the anchor and hit the far one and try to get past. Yeah, and, no, this this is that, this is a close. legitimate strategy, but it's but the score Oof. the score is in the score is in favor of uh oh I, I guess. Two six probably once okay it's just gonna split tempo I, seem tempting. I guess leading in the match two away you you would be more biased toward and now John trailing six away checkers. two away is this a volatility you'd be more uh, more biased toward it's reasonable so four away two away I'd like it better yeah that's right and and maybe we can do a little bit more before we need to get it in here though and yeah. we have right on a borderline okay anyway. okay fine to send I won't talk about the past anymore yes he will. I have to. I, that's what I. Th that's a lie. That's what I think about. I think this. Yeah, it's right on the borderline. We actually have the feed on the left oh, here. Nice. Yeah. Well, of course, it's a take. But did you say? Would you send it? Six away, two away. Uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'd probably wait on this one. But yeah, it's very close. Is that a plus plus evaluation, or is that a? Is that a not a, a, a four ply? Oh, it's plus plus plus. It's plus plus. I see the icon. So did you get results on your match, Ryan? No, I didn't. I, I oh, you don't know the PR yet? First PR. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. If I win that, I'm through. If you win the first PR, you're through. Yeah. Okay, then it's four two or what? Well, it's because because he won two matches. Yeah. So I need to win two PRs, and I'll make it through because I won't have a better average. Ah, uh, okay. Well, usually it'll work that way, but it doesn't well, have to. It will yeah. work that way. Okay. The first second one was. Hmm. When's the final? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. 10 a.m. as far as I know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's early for you? Okay. <laughs> he says, I'm not even done throwing up by 10 a.m. <laughs> and after making the anchor, this is nothing. Gallons have disappeared too much. Who's a, who, is this the final match here? Uh, yeah, match three. Uh, they both won one. We don't know the PR results of any of it. Uh, John on bottom, Dana on top, and the PR race in this one that they're live transcribing is oh, super he's gonna close. Double. Wow. Yeah, so now he makes a big mistake in sending the cube when he could have got it incorrectly. The roll yeah, before. one, Very one, two. It says. See, now it's still a take if he can come in here. It's, I guess it's not gaminish enough for uh, John. Right. Once you've anchored the whole now, threat I, I of the score take. is gone. It's still an easy take, and you roll a nice number to roll six three. Yeah. In fact, it's still not even a cube. Mm -hmm. So still within grasp of the PR race, but Dana slightly ahead there. Two six on the bar. <laughs> yeah. It's lost the four point. Four. Dana's biggest Something mistake, else. I think, that we saw was cashing a too good position. Hmm. It was a tricky one to me, but convinced by uh, Dennis. So you're going to keep your anchor through. here for sure. You're going to do something yeah, that makes a three and then three slot. And... Just slot. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I guess he could make the. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Yeah, he, he, could, he could dump on the one point and whatever. But yeah, it seems weird to do this early. I always slot. Slotting is tempting. Yep, it's Ryan really always slots the bar point. Maybe not necessarily the five exactly. points. <laughs> 13 to 3, 10 to 5, 8 to 3 by the bot. 33, 8 to 3, 6 to 1 is only 0, 1, 2 off. So he could, he could dump behind and only be a little long. I don't know if you knew this, Ryan, but uh, now that you're 21, you can also drink margaritas in the morning. <laughs> That's also allowed. <laughs> At 10 a.m. if you like. When I was 21, it was a very good year. <laughs> wow, you got a hit. No choice. Interesting. That's well, bad. you get to go for you the You could lift. You could duplicate yeah, one, hitting and covering. But no, I would this hit, a, I would hit as well with a three-point board. Uh, two sits back. Hits and makes a four. That's like When I was 17, it was shot. a very good year.
<laughs> one six. Now okay, I well, guess he has a dump. All right, dumpy wumpy, I guess. Wait, no, he's trailing in this court. He doesn't care about getting gammon, right? Yeah, I think he's still. On oh, the cube, the, the cube. Yeah, they, no, the cube. Tempo. The cube is. Maybe uh, he just come out. The cube is. Why this just makes it so every number plays well for Dana, though, uh, right? I don't know. I would come out. I like this play. I don't see that. Uh, he doesn't want to dump. Do a little, wow, they're super close. Okay. He doesn't want to dump. So he says, all right. Six two hits and covers now. Since you didn't want to dump, I will hit and cover. And, and... then I'll hit more. And then he says, all right, oh, well, wow, I will double. I will, I will oh, double hit the. You got the switch. Yeah. Yeah. Goes for the G bird. And he never That's moved again. Nope. He's, he's going for the W bird. He's a huge favorite. Before the G bird. And if Dana wins this, does he win the entire thing? Uh, don't, I don't, don't know anything about the PR results yet. But Dana will be ahead two match points to one. Whoever wins this will be ahead. We'll have two points. The other person is one for sure. If he wins two points here. John is dying for an way. ace. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he's he'll through. have three points for sure. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh... Dana doesn't is make him dying sure. for on the PR on the others, of anything that hits, I guess, on the one point. You know the PR on this one. He's got a hit outside. Where's your two? Oh, geez, I have no that idea. Put it out and pick up another checker. That I don't know. No, that's Why not much. 18 to 60. That's a little bit too much for me. You care about Why, saving two on the bar. I guess twos hit after. Double no, two and double ones hit. Oh, well, no, they don't. He has to come in with yeah. two, I guess. Yeah, double ones would hit six to five twice. I don't know, man. There's the there's the coveted double anchor. Maybe he doesn't actually want to send another checker back. Could be part of it. I don't think he has a choice. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, he may not want to, but what what are, the, what are the winning chances now? Must be pretty it close. Uh, it's, it's like sixty three. It says over here, yeah. Sixty three for uh, yeah. This is a well timed black. back game. Exactly yeah, under pips the timing. He will need to be able to hop those two checkers out. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't blocks. have a forward structure right. too well organized yet. That's no, but he has got time to make it. That's another fact. But I think probably he should probably play, uh, I play. I played an eight point here. I think he should play that five and, and think about a four. Four just plays, makes the midpoint. Keeps it simple, right? <laughs> simple. And it's all right. I don't want to be hit. I'll be a little inflexible. That wouldn't have hit anyone. 13 to 7. You can probably bring them all down now and nah. just focus on offense. Probably like, what's wrong with playing like this? Uh, it doesn't make the 5 as easily. All right. But that's small stuff. It's not really much. Two, 1 plays 8 to 5. What does it want you to do? He's, he's, he's thinking about sliding well, that's the fun. bar. Yeah, he wants to get recirculated when his opponent oh, escapes wow. uh, a five to try to six, get so moving. Gonna, yeah. He probably wouldn't even hit with No, six. he's not so hitting with six, a six. six or six five. But he does need to get the checkers Maybe moving, and you like to put blots in front of it when the timing's questionable like this. So this is a good heads-up play by Dania. Probably... Nice play. Yeah, sure. Keep covers for it. Yeah. That's a really nice play. And, and the, the four point is a good place for spares against the one-two bear. Because when you bear off, you know, you're... It absorbs some bad four. Bad four. Four off. I, I like the slot. That's a I great. Like the that's, slot. A, that's, that's a really good play. Yeah. Realizing that you that you actually want to get a hit. Now now it's, it anyway. it's not that you want to get hit, you want to you you don't mind getting hit and you want to make a prime too. Six to five was the best play. I was thinking about that. That's funny. Huh? Just split it up and try to get timed yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, the timing's really the, suspect. Does the, uh, the the robot said it was yeah. better. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure it was better. So I guess nine split thirteen sure to five. Better. Uh five six is an interesting number if we make the eleven. It's thirteen to five, right? Judging by the last play, what's I like the there's a swing on one number here, so I like it. This is yeah, this is actually maybe all tactics. It's interesting. If you make the 11, look at how five six plays. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 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 you just have to find something like that, right? 
I don't find that kind of stuff. <laughs> You'd make the 11 and get out of the way of being hit by a six. Could have gone to go to the 14, yeah. I guess. He's going to hit, sure. Uh, doesn't even need to. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he should hit. Timing's all messed up. He should hit. Sure, okay. Six pops out. Yeah. Good roll, actually. Yeah, these are tough to tough to play, you know. Six three hits, and now they probably should step up. My play, yeah. I would do that. I would, yes. I, I too would hit on the stuff. Rob's the most timing, yeah. But he says, well, I might just, I might just hit on the fourteen. Minimize return <laughs> shots, <laughs> but. Yeah, now I can make. But the, now I can make the doesn't really point. minimize return shots. What? Now I can make the eighteen point anchor. Yeah, no, that would be a timing. No, I don't. I wouldn't do this. I played nine five. Yeah, sure. you keep the most uh, pips in your front position by doing this. You like to spend them from up there. I think this is probably right. That's better than nine to five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nine and to now, five. Is now I would. I would hit with a deuce here. And then where's the five? Eight to three, I guess. Yeah. Nine who cares? Is where. It I, is. I think. I think. <laughs> well, you know, some I. I'm not totally confident, but the thing you go, you go fourteen to nine, thirteen to eleven. Then, I, you're supposed to hit for sure. Then you give him the chance to come in and then not get out and Uber his forward position up by dealing a builder somewhere. That's that's possible. And then you you know you can such things can happen not only immediately but you know in the, the remote future like a couple of rolls. That's a nice roll as one five would have been nicer, but. Yeah, that's a bad roll. I think you'd rather this is, this is, Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> nice because it diversifies this. It's a, a nice roll would be boxcars staying on the bar. But as as for coming rolls, it's a pretty good what roll. Time so. the bar. What time is it? What time is it? It's probably his worst coming roll. It's, no, two four is worse. But I think second worse. <laughs> yeah, two two anything without, yeah, good place. without, two, without good two, place. two two without a five and two, two six is bad as well. I'll give you that. Two six is really that's bad. the worst one. Yeah, uh, you'd have to go to nine to three. <laughs> two six on the bar. Sure, you can just slot the edge again. Why not? Same idea. When he rolls sixes and fives, he wants to mess up timing. Oh boy, I was thinking about it. Is this he found it last time. Why would he? Why well, does it look now, different? now it's uh. Different. He's got his five points slotted. That's a big deal. What's different is he's more likely to win either way at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They, they, they dilly. They dilly something or they split a board up. But he says, "All right, I'm gonna." Uh, oops. Now you cleared a six point. Kill your no. Kill flies are killed anyway. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I like your play, Ryan. Six three three times. Yeah, your fours are killed then. That's the that's the yeah. play to keep a four point board. <laughs> it's gonna once keep you these checkers live. Once you longest. make it with aces and deuces. And yeah, there we go. Else, whatever. That's the XG play too. I think you'll yeah. find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to you kill your fours? You want to use? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a common theme is to just. Just a, but mm, Johnson's can't well, pull the trigger on it. I, this is the optimistic it play. In other words, it's the play to it it's a play to make a four yeah. point board. Oh, this is if even I better. Get, it's, it's, if I get out and I play a one or I roll, now like he gets a five, the uh, fives well, to go to the ace. Six four. There we go. Now I play a six two. Maybe I don't know. No, uh, no, 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 no. You would rather get hit. Very yeah, checker right. for you're sure. Right. Right. For good and all. Yeah, I don't think Dana will oblige. Dana is not going to oblige. Is it wrong to hit here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably. You'd, you'd love to have that checker on the deuce. Now what do you do? 4 2 is, I mean, I think John should what hit about to 13, hope. 13 9, 6 to 4. <laughs> to hope that he enters. Yeah, on the deuce. right. Look at that. This is yeah, fine. He, he too. Doesn't, sure, I guess sure. he doesn't want, to hit, doesn't want to hit him. He figures he's going to need a. An ace anyway. Now, now are you um, supposed to play nine to eight? Now Dan yeah. says, "All right, you." Now this is pretty pretty clear because now he's. Uh, this guy's now the this timing guy's is solid. the timing is. Uh, and Dana is really solid. He says, yeah. "Now shall I, I shall I kill fives game. or shall I make my two and maybe make my four it's next?" Bob Odenkirk not, backgammon. Not, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I still think you'd rather be recirculated there. Why not leave it open? They call him Slippin', Slippin Dana. Channeling the great TV it. series. How come me and Neil finish so much earlier than these guys? Because you guys, like, you're blitzing. You're do this blitzing with your away. hands all the time and you <laughs> yeah. can't even see what's yeah. happening. <laughs> <laughs> I think like we want to step up just, with just the ace. Watching. I don't think there's any traps here. <laughs> <laughs> How could I get more dizzy? It's you not not easy. <laughs> yeah, these these lazy lazy um people don't want to train their arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, John's that's the beginning of the end for Dana. <laughs> he can still achieve closeout. Oh, yep, yep. There, now there's, a, there's the second. Now, do you even want to hit? Then he rolled double five. Or not double, yet. Or rolled five one. Not actually. I'm fine with hitting. Guess we got to get rid of the board. There we go. Buy some time. Probably not though. Seven four maybe. First yeah, clear, you let him off the gamut if you don't hit now. You're supposed That's to clear to six point right. here. Hard to clear it. I mean, uh, I don't think so. I think you want to. I think you want to fill a fill a four point a little more, and you right. want to. Uh, you actually you want to peel off a few checkers before you leave a shot. Probably four, one. Do. What do you do now? Now, six now you must five, play six, six five. five. They want to no the choice. Shuffle. At least you have a shuffle off. Five two just keeps the anchors, I guess. Yeah. Does John commit to slotting his five pointer? In the outfield, the outfield seems field. nice for containment. I, I, I usually just come in there. Play. Yeah, he says, "All right, I'll slot because we're you know, I have to move too far forward to contain him if I get a, a near term hit." Three is anyway. safe for Dana. And still winning the PR race, too. So in quite a good scenario here. Eventually winning the match and the PR points, which would put him at three points total at least, depending on the last two PR points for the other two. No Blatinsky's volunteered. And he rolled double four, five so four. five four is great. Yeah, yeah and nice now he can, can break the forward point. Very nice roll. He's going to break a point, he's going to break the forward point. Maintain more contact. 4 1. Your point. No double shots yet. No, no double blot number. Yeah. yeah. Zooming right around. Now, I don't see any double blot. PR is currently our 3.45 for Dana and 4.1 for John. That is not on plus plus. But so Dana's, yeah, but close. Dana's got him then. Looks like it, but of course we always have to analyze on a higher level. It shouldn't change, but sixes much. is too fast. Six is yeah, he's got to slot, the, slot ace. the six point. Slot maybe. the six point. I mean, not the ace. Not the you just you stop. just hang back with the du double blots. Well, no, but you'd have to bury. Oh yeah, you'd you have, have to, to come out in the back. You, you right. just have to go twenty-three yeah. to seventeen. Yeah, you're right. Because you win more after hitting. I, I thought I thought that was it. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it gets off the. Yeah, he had to break the anchor and get off the double blot number. Well, six four gets a shot. Shot. If and he had the anchor on the on the twenty-four point. Six two five two four two. And he's hit. Three is a good start. Go left, and now he's gonna. I come down. Sure, come down. I guess. The, I guess get the more primary covers. goal is to make a six. Gammons point. don't matter. We gotta play for it all. And Dana no says, fan hit two I'm instead. Gonna home. <laughs> I'm gonna get home. Brilliant play with a six five. <laughs> John gets a chance to enter behind that three point again. Can't do it. Just high with oh, one. Oh, he makes the advanced anchor. Blocks double fives. <laughs> he blocks double five, and uh, I guess that's all he blocks. Six four. Blocks oh, double fours is going to be. It's perfect. It's one, leave a two, shot. three, four. And is that perfect? Sixteen to two. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that for sure. Six, I, yeah, I wouldn't toss it back. Right. I guess. You know, he's got twelve immediate hitting numbers, and he's staying back on the ace point. <laughs> that was important. Still Coming in high was a problem. Yep. He goes two two off the three point hit, followed by lose. Oh, what a oh. shot! Now he's going to leave it. He's going to roll an cool ace and leave a shot and then lose. Ace or deuce. He, he needs him to take he two slot off the first. four point. It's better to slot something. Yeah, sure. I guess. Yeah. Two one. Oh, no. oh, now, oh, the, now cool the, final, it's, the stage the cool is, yeah, the stage cool is set for right. leaving two blocks. Six two just and he's there. gonna go eleven to nine, I guess, to correct cover for the slaughter point. Sure. Six one six two five one five two four one four two. Two one. Two, one. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> and now. Brutal. 
He fans or he rolls next two on his He comes into the one and he hits the last checker and he wins. That He's a huge a, dog. That would be a that would be a scary one. Gets a, a chance. Fatal, the fatal loss is <laughs> one five, followed by never moves again. One anything would be good for this. Would be a cool inter- <laughs> one five. Sweet. It's actually important because now we can Halloween lower his, his blood. Now what we can lower his PR, right? He's got a five percent chance of a four percent chance to win. A, Two percent chance to win. Yeah, but he can lower his PR in a couple. Of yeah, decisions. I think this is only a real story if he rolls sixes and then hits again. Uh, that was too easy. Shall I? Shall I <laughs> he says, "Shall I?" No. Yeah, no. He hits Sixes, twice. Sixes, eights, and we're fine. He hits yeah. twice, and then he fans on the zero point board. <laughs> now this was you, right. you, you other guys too right far behind. He gets more slowly. shots on. Yeah, you on, have to be on, on any sixes. six. He gets more shots. You have now to find a way to play. Well, could, nine. Could have played. Now you have to slot. No, I come in at nine point. You could have. Uh, why not slot? Why would you slot? Why, you need why to wouldn't slot? you slot? Well, yeah, but why do you need to slot? It's better containment. Yeah, that's fair. It's six better containment if you don't slot. And if you. Six, one, six, two are better. No, six, three the, is. The, the, the only way that makes six, the. Four, six, four, five. The six point and keeps sure. it after the slot is you only double threes. They're actually tied, yeah. All right. Now this. Billy play a six. Near tied. Plotting is good if you. It's not good if it's. Oh, it's good if you're. It's good on a fan and a nine. Way. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Double fives. Now he's got five, four, and six, three to close the board. Now he has to lift. Fortunately, we don't like, have no, to take Dana the puke bucket until he says. loses the match here. Two one. Uh, oh, gets hit. What are, the, what are his chances before that, if you fan Can he there? get there? It's, it's like less than 7%. 5 is probably the better contact and slot it. Why not? Yeah, he slot yeah. it now. Slot it. Slot it. You don't want to go 3-1. to You're one. 11 away. It's a good, a good place to be. You, you, want to, you want to hit. You're probably going to have to hit immediately or, or screw. So, you're, asking, so uh, you're putting a spare in a bad wants place. Wants to save the 6 in case he needs to Yeah, in case again. he rolls really small, like 2-1 or 3, you know, something like that. That's, that's his idea. But Starts I think with a 3. I think it was the wrong idea. You're asking Ryan about how. Uh, oh, now he's going to win. Yeah. That is game over. He right? gives up. He knows. Okay. Seven well, we'll find out tomorrow morning, I guess. We're coming back with the finals at 10 a.m. I'm going to go talk to him to see if we have any final rollout <laughs> results. Well, you got to get up at 10 a.m. anyway, Ryan, and find out then. How do you like that? Tell me now. Better go to get your margarita at 9 30. Early in the morning last year, uh, Bill Ryan called to me I was not in the finals. Looking good for Dana, though. And I should. I'll, I'll be right, right back Kirk before we shut down. We'll see. Odin Kirk versus versus somebody. Oh. Uh.